What is up, gangsters? It's your boy, Mike Mason, here for another Fireside Chat. Yeah, with me, as usual, is my lovely co-host, Carrie partner Stroke. Partner in crime. Um, co-host, yeah. yes. Yes, co-host, partner in crime, my love. <laughs> my baby. Yeah, yeah. We do this thing together, and you guys, many of you guys have seen her by my side at events. Oftentimes, right behind the camera, breaking her back along with me, too, so... Yeah, really happy to have you with me here for another fireside chat. Um, we got a really cool episode tonight. Um, it's flat stacks, which are like vac stacks, uh, but flat. And it's a way to make ribbon cane. It's so much easier than some of the methods that are out there, you know, where you're using a press and all. Those can make like huge sections and, you know, different type of thing. But um, this will make, this is some of the cane that you're actually about to see get made. These are some random pieces, but... Um, yeah, I've got a bunch of it, and it is uh, it is just so easy to make. So this is a fun technique for that. Um, and it's kind of like part one of a thing, and I've got a bunch of these chips of it that I'll chip stack up in a future episode. So that's what we're going to do. Um, man, we've got some... Yo, I wanted to thank the homie uh, Ben Moreau out at Acadian Glassworks. He's got some really fun stuff that we're going to give away uh, after the demo, and then we'll play some games, and I've got some prizes for that, too. But yeah, it's like some solid crushed opal prep is what it looks like, like over black. Woo! It, uh, That's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. It's like, show us the sides. Show us the sides. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but no, this this is uh, really, look at this prep. Just like, ooh, and then I think those are opals there. Is that what that is? Like a little fucking dead bear opal? He sent me these messages right before wow. we had to go live, so I didn't get to ask him, but I wanted to ask. So anyways, I think we'll give those away like as like a set, you know, like like the weed opal and the dancing bear. So yeah, that that's coming up. I've got uh, some I've got some extra packs from my subscription thing on Patreon. Uh, that I'll give away. I've got a couple of these, so they come with both of those canes you see, all those stickers, and then some samples of um, Lime Drop, which is like a green lemon drop, hmm. and Blue Dream, so dipping into the GA palette. Then I've got some sticker packs to give away. Right now, all the sticker packs on my website, uh, MikeMasonDesign.com, they're all coming with uh, hand sanitizer. Everything is coming with hand sanitizer right now. I landed a gallon of that shit. I'm not trying to make any money off it. I'm just including little bottles of hand sanitizer with everything I sell for free. So, Yeah, we yeah. haven't been able to find it anywhere. Yeah, yeah, for real. But I was lucky enough to get a gallon of that shit. Um, yeah, I don't really have much else. Let's go ahead and pop this demo off. I know that's what, what we're here to do. Awesome. Glass Central Station, that's us. And like I said, man, me and Carrie and sometimes the homie Whitefire and even Hanoon out there and uh, Mo Buddy the Gaffer, yo. Uh, all these homies out there helping out, but it, that's what it is. It's getting to all these shows and getting a camera in the face of all these artists. Um, and these companies that we're taking just a moment to acknowledge, yo, they help me get to all these things. And it's, it's just one thing after another that it takes to make this happen, so... All these cats are pitching in. I, I, it means the world. It, it, it's making it possible to, you know, even with nothing going on for a while, we have so much footage, you know, because we did this right. You know, I didn't let any glass go unfilmed or whatever, you know, because I was was able to bring somebody when I needed to, or, or because we gave it a shit enough to stay in the paint. You know, it's like you know, the camera don't go off till the torch goes off, sort of thing. And yeah, it's you know. All these companies are making it possible to do that and get to all these different events. And, you know, it's it's only a matter of time before we're all out there kicking it again. I can't wait to see some of you guys out there. And I'm so glad we get to do this together here. Uh, you guys, it's me. It's your boy. Uh, yeah. This is a demo that I did. I actually filmed this quite a while ago. This is uh, like 20 pounds ago, as I'd call it. <laughs> yeah so i've got a section of tubing here this is like a 50 by 5 and it's just chilling on a point uh, i want to get it onto a nice handle though that'll be used for this encasement so as you some of you saw in the thumbnail or you know like maybe you're getting here later but we're gonna turn this thing into like a flat pocket it's like a hot pocket of cane and uh, <laughs> So right now I'm just going to bring this end down and, and we're just going to get a blow tube onto this. 
getting a blow tube onto a blank of this size can be pretty tricky and you know, I'm, I'm not like connecting the neck of a tube to a can or something, you know, so it doesn't have to be visually perfect, but it needs to be really sound. It's going to be in an area where it's going to get hot and then cool and hot and cool again. And if any stress is in there waiting to pop off like an acute angle on the inside, you got to avoid that. So I'm just going to bring this, this end down a bit and then i'm going to connect it up to a blow tube probably like a 16 mil or whatever it'll be something strong enough to support a nice little pocket full of uh, canes and then yeah we're going to fill it up um it's once it's flattened you know and you've got it the right size this is what we'll see now but then it's just a matter of laying in rods um if you want to lay in a sheet of dicro, you can do that as well. I know some guys like to do the dicro ribbon cane, and it just needs to be a little wider in the pocket, you know? And, you know, the, the next thing we'll see is exactly how that happens. But if you guys can look down there in the corner behind the FAM logo or whatever is uh, my masher, and that's just like a big, that's uh, like a blast shield tool. Uh, and it's just a big piece of graphite on a handle. And that's going to allow me to mash this whole tube pretty consistently so if i do my job and get consistent heat into this blank uh and give it you know consistent presses i'll you'll see i'll switch it from side to side and such but in theory we'll end up with this nice flat pocket that'll hold these canes tightly enough such that we can encase it down into a fat section of ribbon cane and yeah, here it's uh, it's really thick there on that end. I'm just I'm gonna heat up quite a bit of glass to make this seal. If it were a seal for like the neck of a can or something, I'd be a, a lot more precise with it. You know, it'd just be like this one little area, and everything would be just perfectly prepped, such that that one little area is all that needs to get hot. But here I'm just it all that part in the back is completely sacrificial. I I'm just concerned about it being sound enough to support the weight and not have any type of uh, mechanical stress, which is like those acute angles and stuff. There's like two types of stress. There's thermal stress and there's mechanical stress. They can play off of one another, but those are like two distinct things, you know? Like a tube that's that's perfect stock, if you flash it it's going to get that big spider crack and all that shit. That's thermal stress, 100%. There was no nothing to set it off. When your ring seal is all janky and shit, and it's got a bunch of thick glass here and a little tiny tag on the there, and that's mechanical stress, you know, or when you carved it and it checks. Um, even uh, checking is like a form of, of that mechanical stress because the glass is pushing against another layer of glass, and it doesn't have anywhere to go. So it checks, you know, it wasn't temperature that set that off. It was the, the, you know, the physicality of it. So anyways, those are types of stress. Yeah, shout out to one of my teachers, actually, um, Roger Paramore. He actually just started a Patreon. Um, it's just getting started. So I, I don't know what, what exactly, I mean, if you read the description, it sounds like he's going to be teaching us how to cook, how to do everything. So, so I'm excited about Uncle Roger's Patreon or whatever, but um, you guys, Roger Paramore is like uh, one of my most important teachers. And when I talk to you guys about that, that sort of stress and, um, you know, the, the, the house, how heat moves through the glass, this is stuff that is so uh, critical to the way he teaches. And, and that's what's going to be going down on his Patreon. Uh, he put up like a free video the other day and then took it down and now it's on the Patreon. But it was like punnies 101. And it was all about the different types of punnies, the size of the punnies, the type of counterweights that he uses. Because when he's making these cups in these incredibly precise forms, the counterweight makes it easier to balance. All these little details. I uh, I just wanted to take a second to shout that out because he's just trying to get started with it. And it's kind of it's going to be hard for some of our glass educators out there. And if we can support them... You know, that way, too, I think that's important. You know, uh, Bo Barrett's another one, man, who started uh, Patreon recently, and I signed right up for that. It's only five bucks. Rogers is a little pricey for me right now, but, you know. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, here I'm just opening this tube because it's going to be open in order to slide those rods in, right? So th that's what we're doing here. And, yeah, that seal on the back, like, it's, it's not... Um, 
the most optically perfect, but I mean, if you see it though, it's like it's smooth, baby. There's 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 nothing to worry about there. That's a uh, Mickelson egg. It's like a cool little graphite, literally an egg shape. And if you just let the glass rest on it and heat evenly, you know, as you rotate, you can kind of just and make shapes. It's crazy. It's a really neat tool. Um, that was the worst explanation of it ever, but. <laughs> that was great. That was great. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you, seriously, it's, just, it's, just, it's, it's one you can literally just rest the thing on and kind of roll it. And, and if it's too far off, it doesn't feel right. But if you're doing it right, you can just feel the glass kind of, you know, sh shifting out a bit. And um, this is a move I like a lot is, you know, getting it in that L Marver and then pushing from the inside against that wall. So it's getting hit on the two shapes of the L Marver. And then it's also getting pushed from the inside out. And when they're when the heat is right and you do that move like it'll turn into a stock tube you know especially if the end doesn't have any difference on it at that point it just boom it looks like a stock tube and and if you heat a little further back and kind of just mash the end in before you do this it, those moves go together because you'll push some of that material back in and if you've heated up further enough down you know it just wants to distribute back don't heat up just the lip heat up a little further back and then give it a little push in and that'll distribute that material and then when you roll it and push from the out or the outside then it goes back to round so you're just it's like you're pushing the material back in and then re-rounding it and redistributing it out um along the circumference if that makes sense and then you end up with a virtually stock tube and you can do this to small tubes big tubes whatever I really picked this trick up from Nate Meyer's webinar, actually, and you know, he does this to prep and calmo sections, and he just wants them to be almost like a stock tube when he joins them, you know, because you end up with a really even um, in calmo seal that way. It's, it's just just one way to really ensure that you get a crisp line in that in calmo seal is to have the holes even, flush, same amount of material. You almost can't go wrong, you know. Even if you mess up the stick a little bit, you know, like it, as long as everything wasn't too far off to begin with, you know, it just wants to seal back together. Um, and now we're getting to the point here now that it's open. Uh, I want to just soak a bunch of heat into this tube. I don't want that tube to be fucking floppy, but I kind of want to get it all really hot and happy at the same time such that when I mash that bad boy down, I can do like... 90 plus percent of forming the pocket all at once and yeah it's just a matter of taking time and then kind of just studying it looking at that thing looking for that for that glow to be nice and even my tube all glowed up whatever my, my Kanye fans out there Here we go. Yeah, against my graphite pad and on one side, but then flip and get over into the other side. And if you sunk in your heat right, you're going to end up with something close to with that nice, nice pocket that I'm talking about. And while it's still got that heat, that, you know, the first heat is the best heat. While it's still got heat in it, get in there and reheat. If, if one side needs a little adjustment, study it. And then I like to get in there with those jacks. And it's hard to see here. I'm sorry. It's, it's, I forgot my camera limitations. But I'm really just heating those walls. And I'm just like scraping kind of back and forth and just rubbing back and forth, you know, and making it as flat as possible such that you know i don't want it like tucking in on the back anymore or anything like that i want it to be as, as you know even and consistent and then at a certain point like uh, i'm gonna give it a check i'm gonna take some like the two i, I want it to be two rods tall so i'm just gonna roll those in there and, and kind of see and that'll give me an idea of of how close i am and i i got pretty close you'll find uh, that you know, if you make this pocket here, it's going to be about two rods, you know. You've really got to squish it to go more than that, you know. 
So just, just don't go too far at first. So now just kind of evening that thing out and really getting that profile like as tight to the back as possible. And almost, you know, like almost forming a stop. Now there's a real clear, real clear pocket. And that's about that. Some of them take a little more futzing than others, you know. Sometimes you didn't flatten it enough, it's okay. While it's still got that, that nice heat in there, get on in that bad boy, you know. Get it a little bit, you know, soak a bit more in and then give it another squish. And, you know, always have those two rods there to check, though. I don't know if I noticed myself doing it there, but at some point I must have. Maybe I did it when it was cooling down and I just kind of cut it between those segments. But that's the thing to do is to have those two rods there in your hand and you can stick them in a little bit and roll it up and down the pocket, you know, and just make sure. I saw Hanun in the chat just asked what t t size tube I started with. I believe it was 50 by 5. But I recorded this a while back. Look at all these people paying attention. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right? Cheers, guys. <laughs> Cheers. That's, that's nice. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Shout outs to my old lava lamp. That thing actually started changing colors over the years because it just kept getting like super hot. Like it would get very hot in that in, in my uh <laughs> studio there, you know. <laughs> Doing big Millie builds all day sort of thing, you know, that's when it would get really hot. Eventually I installed like an air conditioner right behind me in there and it would just blow straight on my back, which would actually be quite lovely i bet that felt nice so we loaded all the rods in just a matter it's just like a vac stack you know you lay the ones in on the bottom and then lay in the top it's just doing it flat though so lay in your one color on the bottom and now here i'm i uh, i tack those edges down and then i'm going to grab a clear rod and and kind of um it's it's almost like doing a little coil pot on the end and, and that's just to help me uh, preserve as much of this color as possible. Because now we have to close this up so it's all a vacuum in there. And then we're going to uh, vac it all down and then we'll, we'll pull it down. And there's one step you can do in between the encasement and the vacuum pull if you want. Um, it came up in the post in the Torch Talk group. They are mentioning if you, if you use this method and then chip stack it, they'll be clear on the edges. So uh, there's there's like two ways. There's probably others I'm not thinking of, but like the the ways that I, I can think of to deal with this. Um, once it's encased, you need to wipe that clear off. So while it's still this big fat bundle, you know that you've now made solid. Um, you can at that point carefully just do a quick wipe and get that clear off until you're just until it's just color on the sides, or uh, you can just cold work each chip, which, you know, it's just the tiniest little bit of clear, so it's kind of just a quick zzzm, zzzm, you know, on the pad, on your lapidary <laughs> wheel or whatever. Got the sound effects going tonight. But, um, I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, so those are the ways to deal with that. If you do the traditional method where you, you know, use like an Arbor Press thing, like Dustin Revere's got a great video where he uses like the, the graphite lined Arbor Press. If you're just, you know, mashing a bunch of rods and there's no clear involved, that's good for chip stacking right out the gate. But if you if you get good at doing that quick wipe, it's really not hard to remove that that clear off the sides and then you do end up with a nice coating of clear on the front and the back, which can actually be helpful, especially if you've got dicro in there and stuff, it gives you a little bit more protection. So you you gain some advantages. Um all right, and then now that this thing is getting closed down, we're going to work it down in, until it's all encased. And and with a shape like this, uh, encasing it and pulling it, it, it's what's important to avoid is just sitting there round going round on it. Uh, this needs to be heated it, according to the shape. You know what I mean? Like, it's not round, so you're not going to just sit there and twist, you know, and spin and spin and spin. Uh, what you're going to want to do is uh, is going to heat one side and then go to the other side and go to the other side, like the wide side that is. And then every now and then you might want to hit those edges. But the, the shape is so 
you know, such a steep rectangle or whatever that the thin side there doesn't really need much. It's just a matter of soaking heat into that these two wide sides. So you're, you'll see once we really get going um, that I'm kind of waving the flame, you know, over one side and then flipping to the other. And there you go. See that? It's just like one side flip over to the other side flip. Right now I'm heating just the end to get uh, the handle on, but once we start encasing again, you'll see it's, you know, heat one side, then flip to the other. Heat one side and then flip to the other. It's not just sitting in there and going all round in there. Otherwise it'll want to round out. I mean, it might work, don't get me wrong, but if you want to preserve crisp shapes, that's what you have to do is heat them along the way that the heat's going to flow into it. So the only way to get heat into these big wide sides is to give them more focus. Um, if that makes any sense. And, you know, and if it were like a cube, for example, you'd want to do one side, flip to the other, you know, next side, and then flip to the next side evenly. And, you know, because if you just uh, kept rounding it, like, like I said, a cube is a really good example to imagine because it's got sharp edges, right? If you just put it in the flame and kept spinning those edges would round out. Eventually it would just turn into a marble. So if you want to heat this uh, a shape like this, you really have to heat along its shape and kind of, you know, get, feed it the way it, it, it exists, so to speak. Um, what does somebody ask? Why aren't you having your blow tube on the rollers? You know, I really, I'm like a one, I'm like a one roller type of man, you know what I mean? Can't catch me out on the town with all these other rollers. And, um, no... <laughs> I, uh, all the weight is being supported on the one uh, that has like the vac hose, like the blow tube and everything. The other one is kind of like a finesse thing, uh, and it and it's not really carrying much weight. If this, even my big giant milli builds, like I've rarely used that second roller these days unless it's super mega and I've got to like do a pig roast on it for a while, you know, type of thing where I really got to be in the paint. Um, otherwise, I try to let that, that one roller that's on the blow tube side, and it's the same way I work, you know, like, like my, uh, my non-dominant hand is always supporting all of the weight, and that's allowing my other hand that, like, I write with and all that shit, that's allowing that to have, like, the full control of what's really going on. The other one's just, like, an engine or something, you know, and the other one is kind of directing the action and giving me the full finesse and control of where I'm at because wherever the glass is hottest and is actually going to be moving around and requiring like full hand brain feedback, I want that to be closest to my dominant hand. So a pull like this, I would never do it the other way, you know, like same thing. Um, if you're shaping out a, a vessel or something like that, you know, the time to switch to the other side is when it's getting further away from your dominant hand. And as soon as you're working further away than you have to from your dominant hand, the difficulty level just goes through the roof. So, you know, the closer you can have your hand, you know, that you used to sign your signature with and write a paintbrush with and stroke your girlfriend's hair, all that shit. Like, that hand is <laughs> the, the one that needs to be you know, always in charge of the glass. And if it's stuck on a roller, you kind of lose that advantage. And in an encasement like this, um, I'm really feeling for it to start to get loose on me, you know? Like, when I can f feel that bad boy flexing, like, from the core and everything, that means that I know the inner rods have gotten hot enough to suck in on each other and remove the airline. And that, that's a bit of the game here, you know, to, to keep this thing nice and controlled. You don't want to put, soak so much heat into it that it's starting to get super floppy on you and pulling away from you and all that shit. You want to have a nice, controlled, solid hunk of glass. But you want it to be hot enough in the core that it really does, you know, soak that, that heat in there. And it's that dank heat I keep talking about, that, that buh, that build up heat. You got to take your time with it. And that's why I'm like just back and forth. You see these movements where I'm soaking heat under that one side and back to the other side. And see, I'm barely touching those other edges. But that's because that, that's, the, that's the pattern I need to soak that heat in. I'm oftentimes coming out of the flame, just chilling. And just switching to the link sometimes. It's where a foot, foot pedal comes really in handle or in, in handy rather. 
because um, you can drop from that big flame pounding mega heat uh, to the links, and even that will let some of that heat with the big flame soak into that core. So, you know, there, there's something to be said for, like, it's not it's not going slow, but it's going methodically and going in a way that, you know, you know that heat has gotten in there. Anyways, it's a feedback thing, so my hand over there that is, you know, the sensitive hand is... I'm able to use that to really, really feel that 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 it's gotten loose enough to go, to proceed, you know, without having to, like, let it get so fucking loose that I'm losing control, you know? And here I'm, I'm you know, trying to get into the end, and I'm doing it in a pretty controlled manner because that that's where, you know, once that pocket at the end starts sucking in on you and closes in over an airline or whatever, then you don't have access to it anymore, so... You know. Someone was yeah. asking about your over under on the right hand. Yeah, you know, I uh <clears throat> that's a Venetian thing kind of because when you work on points you can't really do full rotations. Some guys have like a crazy hand method where they can kind of do these full rotations under, but the way most guys work, they're actually going back and forth and points really reward that gear rotation. Here we're getting ready to do the pull, by the way. I'm soaking heat, like, right in the middle of the build. We're building that heat up, you know. It's not just rage and then go. It's build that heat up. But anyways, the over-under thing, when your hand is under, it, it really lets you have that, that full control and precision of your fingers that you used to write with on, on, the, on your punny or on your tube or whatever. And this tube's pretty big for it, but I'm so used to working this way that I'm still... You know, that, that, that's the way I feel the most control. Um, but especially with, like, a point size handle, that, that position gives you this super geared rotation to where if you roll your thumb, you know, and, and the, the punty, like, from the top of your finger back to your palm or whatever, it's going to spin, like, 16 times, you know, whatever. Zoom, 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 as opposed to um, a bigger punny, you know, even, I guess, even, like, a 10 mil or 12 mil punny versus a... A point which is you know five mil three mil really small uh, it just gives you a different type of control and the over under thing is geared to it so here we go i soaked a bunch of heat into that and then this I, it's like almost like pulling a point you know i do an initial pull but then i slow down until i see the diameter starting to set close to where i want and then as it gets closer to that i start to really give it the juice and this wasn't the <laughs> The best example, I'm kind of mostly off screen, but I kind of like that vertical pull for this stuff sometimes. That wasn't the best. You didn't get to see all of that. Normally I would try to pull it sideways, but man, you know, it's hard to change your habits, you know. And sometimes, especially if it's flowing one way, I sometimes I just like to go vertical with it, you know, and let it kind of drop in a controlled way. And, you know, again, that diameter, it's all about that initial timing, you know, like, like start the pull, but go very slowly, you know, and then almost pause until it's where you want, you know, and then, then you can continue the rest and, and give it an increasing amount of power until it pulls out the way you want. And definitely it, just a, getting these nice even sections of the ribbon that you want is, is all a matter of even heat and timing during the pull so yeah i hope that makes sense um i left in uh, like a fun little random bonus thing here i might pull one more section of cane down but i uh i left in this little pendant that i made and here we go there's some of that cane and you end up with a lot of this you know if you do a section like this you know this this each one of those will pull a giant ribbon that was a pretty big ribbon even and yeah, these things, man, these ribbons, if, you know, adding them onto a piece, if it matches the line tube that you've used and stuff too, I, I think it's such a beautiful look. There's a lot to be done with these things, um, besides just chip stacking, but that's what I'm going to do next. I think here I might pull down another segment, um, on a pull like this, uh, comb encasements, anything, even a vac stack, I really like to go right back in on the blow tube end fast. Because that end just has the most sketchy glass, and the, 
bringing it back up is is an opportunity to trigger that you know all that it's that what i was mentioning earlier right that thermal and mechanical stress thing because all those little seals back there and stuff if the end has kind of started to suck in as you were getting the last little bit you know those are all weird fucked up little seals so when it comes back out and you want to get it hot again to pull the rest out that can go into your handle or god forbid it even goes into your cane if you encased your cane properly and really vacked it down into a happy piece of glass, you know, hopefully it should go the other direction. But you get the idea. You know, you give it an. All you need to do is give it like a foot in the door, man, and glass will kick that motherfucker in. So, and, and here it's the same thing. Um, a controlled, you know, getting that heat into there. You know, respecting the shape. Kind of what it is, you know. And here I'm, I, I like, I just made kind of a punny and, and just kind of wink, wink, flatten the end a little bit just to match the profile uh, of what it's about to seal to, you know. You can glob like a round thing over that, but if you're if you're sealing to a you know, like a slit, you know, something more horizontal, you may as well kind of just flatten the end of your thing real quick. So that's the theory there. And, you know, like, I don't like to handle up until I really need to, so I'm actually just soaking that heat in. My handle's ready, but there's no need to uh, put it on in, until, you know, until I really feel like I, uh, until it's about to get loose. And it's just kind of easier to, to control that, that bundle at this point, you know. It also lets me keep my hands away. It's, once there's two handles on, you're stuck right in front of it, you know. Like a kid getting cancer from the TV or whatever. <laughs> wait till you guys see the future pulls man i have got the full-blown fucking are you from the future spaceman suit <laughs> oh yeah yeah <laughs> i've been wanting this thing for years like the aluminized jacket because some of these pulls i do it's um you know um they, they used to call me a second degree mike because my <laughs> arms after a pull would be like Beyond first degree, you know, like, anyways, um, I have the sleeves, the aluminized sleeves and the aluminized apron, uh, but man, they left this like cut on my shoulders really exposed and I'm not kidding. I mean, they were really getting melted and, you know, I'm kind of of the mind to, to minimize all this shit as much as possible. I want to do this as long as possible and put as least stress on myself as possible. Well, that that doesn't sound cool or whatever, but I'm not certain I'm really impressed by anybody beating themselves up on the torch, you know what I mean? Like, like yeah, I do big stuff too, I don't care, you know? Like, impress me with your safety gear, real talk. And then, you know, something Kiva Ford taught me, another one of my important teachers, man, he was talking about how um, you simply can't focus on the task at hand if you're in pain. I mean, you can be like Mr. Cool, you know, and like not not be all crying about it, but your brain is still dealing with it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, unless you have like that condition where you don't feel the pain, you know. And there's that one dude who like pushed a bowl with his finger. He's got that shit. Everybody's like, how did he do that? It's because he's got Ew. that shit where he doesn't feel the burn. Anyways, um, you know, if if you can find a way to take that pain out of the equation, you simply may as well do it. You know, if you want to do your finest work possible. And, you know, deep down, man, I mean, I got not only the jacket, but I also got the face shield, like the gold coated, you know, thing. Um, and that's because I, during these pulls, like if I have to adjust my glasses, here's a, here's a good example of the pull and the timing involved in, in order to get the diameter that you want. See that? No, not rushing it, man. If you rush it, you're going to get a tapered thing that's too small or not what you want. And then see, as it gets closer, then you start to give it the juice. There we go. Yeah, okay. That that's a much better example of what I was trying to get across earlier. Nice. Anyways, um yeah, man, so I've got the like, okay, when I would move my glasses, the glass the, the frame of them would be so hot that it would be giving me burns like just further up my nose. Type of shit. I'm over that. Like no more, man. Like if I get face cancer in 20 years, who am I going to blame? I'd be like, "Man, yeah, well I was doing these mega pulls all the damn time and roasting my face like some kind of fucking retiree in florida you know out there with the foil oh, God. the sun or whatever <laughs> love do you need a refill on a beverage or anything no no I, I haven't even had a drink 
Okay. Yeah, all right, look at that. That is like a nice section, even section of cane, and right down to that end. So that's what I was uh, trying to demonstrate there. Hell yeah. So shit, I thought, I hope you guys found that helpful. Like I said, I'm going to make a cool little pendant out of this guy here now. And uh, like I'm going to make a bale out of the actual uh, cane itself right on it and shit. So nothing too fancy, but it, it not going to take too long. And maybe it, and it's mainly to, sh to show kind of um, careful use of the bale biters. Because this is one of those things where it's not just like globbing a thing of cobalt on, you know, and then stink. This is uh, a little bit something specific I'm cooking back and I'm trying to do in a controlled way. And those, those like, the ones I'm using are the Handy Andes. And those are great. Those, um, they really allow you to, to pick a bale that is super precise. And you can do it on virtually anything, so. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna... Just do a quick little spiral section on this, kind of, it's it's getting right into where the rods ended, so there's this, this one little chunk, I mean, what am I, I could pull that down to a little cane, but I thought it'd be fun just to make a quick pendant or whatever. Originally, I was going to give it away, but I filmed this so long ago, and I have no fucking idea where that thing is, so, sorry. Just going to have to give away Millie packs and sticker packs. We got some cool shit, if you tuned in and you didn't catch the beginning... We have some incredibly sick crushed opal prep to give away from the homie at Acadian Glass Works. Uh, huge, huge thanks to Ben, man. He's given us some really cool stuff to give away during the game times. And uh, and then I've got some of the extra packs that my subscribers got. And these packs are hot as hell. They've got multiple Millie Canes, uh, dank color samples, and then a shitload of stickers. So those things, I've got a, I've got a couple of those to give away. At least a sticker pack. There'll be prizes soon. Okay, so, same deal there. Made one of those little shaped punties or whatever you want to call it. And now we're just going to heat this up and kind of spiral it out. Almost, it, you know, almost the same thing as making, like, a ribbon cane. It's just a little trickier to soak the heat into it. Yeah, the homie in the chat uh, mentioned he does the kiln mats too. Yeah, man, Acadian glass. Uh, Google that shit. I need to add a link into the description too. Um, let me do that right now while you're watching me spiral this up. But if you just Google Acadian Glass Works, it'll pop right up. It's AcadianGlassWorks.com. And man, and then really though, gosh, you should just follow the homie on uh, Instagram because he auctions off sections of those crushed opal tubings, like tube and the solid stuff. It's dope. But yeah, he's got the kiln mats the um, that go in the bottom of your kiln and keep everything from getting dusty. Excuse me. Those are shit hot. Yeah. Not to turn it into an ad, but man, I really do appreciate the homie making these these uh, game times and our shows extra special with some cool prizes. And he's a friend whose uh, business I support, so hell yeah. And then check it out. Yeah, here we're getting this twist started. I'm kind of just letting it go. I don't really think I, uh, I, I wanted to have like a tapered shape, you know? So we're going to to make that happen with the heat and everything, but like I said, this is almost like a little bit of a freestyle kind of vibe here. I really think the coolest part is just get, making that bale out of the tube or out of the uh, ribbon itself, but yeah. Oh, shit, speaking of stuff in the video description, man, I don't know if Pogo ever stopped in, but he has, uh, in the Chiba Hut bag contest, made an awesome bag, um, with all these different, uh, rigs and pipes and stuff on it. That's in the video description, too. You guys should check that shit out and give him a vote. He'll get a free Chiba Hut sub for, uh, every day for a year. Wow. And then if he's currently in first place, and if we can keep him there, 
that bag with all the pipes and shit is going to be on, like, they're going to actually print the bag. And, uh, so, yeah, that's fucking awesome. And that's in the video description now. You might have to refresh the thing or whatever to, to see it. But Acadian Glassworks is in there. The Pogo thing, for real. Please give the homie a vote. Like, he's almost guaranteed to get the free sandwiches for a year if we just do this. But I think, like, he's literally in first place. And if we can just help him stay there, man, Chiba Hut is going to have a piped out fucking bag. <laughs> and his, like, the design is really cool. Like, you don't even have to do this, like, out of your giving spirit. You can just do it because it's fucking awesome. And he took a great picture with all these pipes all around the bag. Everybody else just put it on a wall or something, man. They look boring as hell. This looks awesome. Anyways, uh, man, I'm putting like a just a quick jank seal on the bottom here to uh, get to a section on the top. There's like more on the bottom because I'm going to remove it once we have a bale on it, right? It's really just that one section of twist that we want. And I'm kind of just finishing the other end and leaving myself some glass that can then become the bale. Yeah, and the homie in the chat, Shane, mentioned they have Kool-Aid on tap. I mean, it's apparently, like, the bombest place if you're fucking high. I gotta go there next time I'm out in, like, Denver or whatever. <laughs> when they're not on a stay-at-home order or whatever. Yeah, I gotta make a trip out there soon, you know. Your, your boy needs... Missing all your homies? Missing all my medicine, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm just... <laughs> I miss the roll dogs, too. But also drugs. Remember, yeah, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Mm. Mm -mm -mm. My new drink is this Burnett's vodka. It's like flavored vodka. It's like Kool Aid vodka. It is, it is. <laughs> and sometimes it's on sale for like $6 for this big bottle. It's crazy. I've become more of a hobo every day. Now, okay, if I don't know if you guys saw this, but, like, I pulled down this section of, like, almost into, like, a little, like, uh, like a horn. Right? And that's so I can just have a section that, that almost looks like, uh, like, a, like a spiral thing. But I'm going to cook that all back. So that was the point, because I didn't want, like, all this, like, a full-on spiral there. So, like, as I was, I just let that cook back enough that I could pull it out into something more of a taper like tapered horn than an actual like physical spiral and now I'm gonna cook that back and you can see the Andes are out made by Andy Ray I think they're like they're, they're like a lot they're like $75 there's ones for like 15 bucks on eBay I hate to, to be that guy but Like this Raya Mint or something online is the store on eBay. And there's another tool you guys will see that I got on eBay here, and it's my little reamer. Long-time viewers will remember my little reamer, but... Um, if you've not, it's like $5 on eBay. It's, it's, it's made for poking holes. But it's legit only 5 bucks, and it's made out of steel, and it's just... It goes down to super sharp. Yeah, I'm not certain that punny was supposed to come off right then, but it really wasn't a big deal. Okay, so now that I gave it that initial uh, forming, and, and, and it's all about that, like, it's the back and forth. Same thing as when I was mashing that, the, the whole tube, right? Back and forth. You know, you've always got to flip it around, because you need that force to be distributed evenly. And if you don't flip it back and forth, one side of your bale is going to come off, so... Just keep that in mind when you're forming these bales or whatever. Like with the with the bale tool and when you ream them out afterwards. It's like forming a donut at that point, you know what I mean? Like if you do a donut, you're not just reaming one side of it, you know? You gotta hit one side, flip, hit the other side, flip, hit the other you know what I mean? And back and forth, and that's gonna give you the most uh, even results, so. Just... Even if it, I know it's easier to just be like, ream, 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 and then flip it, and ream, 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 but I'm telling you, the, like, ream, flip, ream, flip, you know, kind of thing, 
the, the quicker you can go back and forth on that, I think it wasn't quite open yet. But okay, there's that tool I was talking about. That that reaming tool. And those things are literally like five or six bucks shipped. Who was it that, that did the uh, 3D printed Extenda? Yeah, I do not remember. It oh, came up a while back cool. and somebody made like a 3D printed extension for it. And another guy, uh, he like, he... I forget what he made, but he made a handle that it would screw into as well to extend it. Oh, okay. Somebody pulled the whole tip out of it. That's what they did. They mm -hmm. took the tip of that thing out of the little handle that it's in and put it into another thing. It was awesome. I wish I would remember all these details, but I don't. And here we go. The, the, and this is, it's ju this is like a sensitive bale. If you do this with like clear or a, you're just a simple color, you can kind of go a bit quicker. But I'm really just trying to take my time with it. It's got like it's got the full pattern of the you know the ribbon in it. It's hard to see right now, but it's pretty cool. So now you're making a pendant. You mentioned chip stacking earlier. Yeah. Somebody this... else was wondering, like, what would you do with this ribbon? Yeah, you know, I would like attach it to rigs and stuff like that. Like if you make if you have a line tubing, you know, or rig that this matches. If you put these ribbons on there and kind of, you know, rope them around the piece, you know, in cool ways, think lace face, you know, shit like that. Um, there's there's all sorts of possibilities for this. Make cool leaves out of them. Flower yeah. petals. Excuse me, but mainly like attachments and things like that. And put a little section of this on a piece or whatever and it's it's going to look hot. Shout out to the homie Kai with those torch shirts, man. I'm telling you, the guy's fucking amazing with the tie-dye. Oh, All right, yeah. see what I'm talking about now? It's kind of hard. Now you're starting to see what, what happened here. And then that last little bit on the end is about to get pulled off. I know the very end doesn't match, but that's not part of what we're fucking with. That was always meant to be sacrificial. And now we've got a cold seal on the end there. And now we can just remove that shit. And this, to me is no different than like terminating a reversal or you know, like a work disc that you've done something to. It's not what I usually do, but uh, like dot stacks, I'll need to do that too sometimes when it's condensed down, you know, and you gotta uh, bring the center dots together and you want it to come to a clean termination. And that's a matter of like, I almost like to pull a little stringer off the end while I'm working kind of like on the edge of the flame. Now this has this twist, that's why I've got so much hot. I'm just trying to like keep the twist going as I pull it down to this little stringer. Now it's coming down to like just what I want and I'm gonna work mostly on the edge of the flame and just let it terminate. And that's really kind of the key with, with those moves is uh, right on the edge of the flame and then once you've actually cut it off there or whatever Go further back and let it naturally cook itself back. And that's how you're going to end up with these. This isn't a crisp termination, but that's what we're kind of talking about. Um, anyways, there's a fun pendant. Like I said, in, in the past, I was going to run this sooner and just give that away. I'll give it away someday when I find it. I don't know where it is. It's, it's gone missing. But anyways, that was. I thought that was fun. It was a fun little cute thing to make out of... Uh, all right, I just tapped that cold seal off, and now I'm just going to flame polish that shit. And yeah, uh, chip weaving is the next step. I've got all those, uh, I got a ton of chips that I made here sitting in a bag. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and make something with that here probably in the next week or two. And I'll show you my process for that. It's, you know, it's, it's really just the chip stacking, but there's some math involved. You know, you got to do the pie thing or whatever and figure out the exact size of the, of the tube that you need to stack them on and all that stuff. So we'll get into that soon. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed that first part and got some ideas for how to make this type of ribbon cane. Um, guys, again, just take one moment here. Uh, these are the companies that helped me, you know, get to all these shows. Uh, tonight was, was one of my demos, which I'm happy to do, but uh, most of the time we're getting to share some of the most incredible stuff that's going on in our industry and put a positive light, you know, on what we're doing here. And all these companies are helping me, you know, pay the bills. It's one thing after another. And even when you think about a traditional vacation, it's not like that. It's like, we got to pay for extra bags because we got this thing for the camera. We got this thing for the tripods. 
it, it's just one random expense after another, and, and these are all the cats making it possible without, you know, I got a kid going to college next year. Like, we, we got to have our priorities here. So it's it means a lot that these companies make, make it possible to do this without it being some charity thing, you know, that's going to be subject to the winds of change, you know, or whatever, man. So I really do appreciate all these cats. And then some of you guys pitching in on the Patreon thing. Um, speaking of, I want to give you all an update on that. Yo, shit, Pearl came up to say hi. Um, go ahead and throw some numbers in. I see there's 152 <laughs> people watching right now. So go ahead and throw in a number 1 uh, through 200. And just... Make sure you look to see if – make sure nobody picked your number. And then, I, like I said, I want to give you all a quick update because Patreon is the other thing that is, is making it possible to do this. And some of you guys are pitching in like five bucks a month and getting access to a lot of what I film early. Um, I, I don't feel right like uh, doing stuff just for a paid audience. You know, all this it's, – it's because all of you guys are here that I get to do this in the first place. But some of the Patreon stuff chills for six months, and then after that we we can run it. Um, so I'm I'm trying to find a way to to help you know and honor the people who help me get to do this, you know, in, in a way that's fair to everybody. Yo, but we got some hot shit on there. Let me give y'all a quick uh, update on the uh, the scene. This one just went up recently. It crushed opal tubing with Phil Siegel. A really cool method utilizing frit to back it as he goes. A little different than most that that um that I that, that we shared before. This travel pod recycler with JFL is fucking amazing. Carrie mm -hmm. stayed with this dude for like two days straight to get this footage, and then I was with Salt for a while when he did his part. That's the latest Millie Canes in the subscription packs. Uh, some of those we'll give away here shortly, actually. Part one of the Travel Pod Recycler. This was like two movie length things in one. Shows a really amazing trick for making a tubing with the tungsten pick. That's a crazy performance from the gas conference from years ago. What I threw up there. It's not a little coverage update, man. We filmed a ludicrous amount of stuff at the uh, Champs Masters. And then at Glass Vegas, that Kurt B demo, the AKM demo. Oh, Lewis there's so Wilson. much good stuff on here. Yeah, man, this is just the past couple of months. And in time, all this will hit the public channels. I'm, I'm not trying to keep anything from anybody. I, I guess I just want to hook up the homies who can help me get to all these shows. Um, as of right now, there's 192 people on there, man. And, you know, I'd, I'd love to hit 200 soon. I'm not that guy's like, when we hit this, I'll do that or whatever. I'm going to keep doing it. But he probably will. But, you know, but it means a lot. <laughs> 200 will probably be a comfortable place. We're just on the edge of this whole thing being sustainable. Um, you know, this one right here, this salt has an amazing trick for layering one color over another. The Dicro roll up with Phil Siegel. This is some of the Melt Main stage stuff. This refraction tech, good God. <laughs> one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Like in the homie Skaz, this video he shows how he like makes the dragon claw hold the marble really well. A really cool video. He shows the opal, like a triple opal marble too. This freak, that's the freak terp cycler, yo. That is unreal. All this is going to be on the show in like over the next year or whatever it'll be. Like there's the one we just watched last week, lathe cup making, man. The homies have had that since October type of thing so that's what's going on with the patreon um like i said just my way to try and hook up the homies who make it possible for me to get to all these shows and do something really special for our industry and give it this kind of you know like an espn level of coverage and it means a lot it's uh i mean all this has made it possible to keep this party going man like fuck that rona baby we're gonna keep having this party every fucking week don't get me wrong, in a couple of years, if this keeps going on, it's going to be me every week, like, inventing new things. <laughs> the demo. <laughs> oh, we love hearing your voice, though, yeah, so it'll yeah. be all right. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so this is some of the newer stuff. Uh, and, yeah, the, the, the canes you guys are seeing, those packs go out every other month. Like, no advertisement for that, man. I got a wait list for those, so. But there is a pack where you can get stickers every other month, so, you know. A lot of fun shit on here, you guys, and um, 
got this this some that Yushin footage is really cool. So yeah, th that's uh, some of the shit that's been kicking it there on uh, on the Patreon. Oh, there's Carrie. Um, Carrie, show him that. Yeah, show him that necklace yeah, that you made. So that's that's that necklace that I'm wearing. But I got another one here that I can pull out and. She actually made that with some of these eye canes that I made recently. Yeah, that's yeah. Um, these amber purple dragon eye canes. That's so cool. Yeah. And you did that with glue, is that right? That's right. I did a whole little video of how to do this. I mean, minus the lensing of the Millie, because I don't feel confident getting a, doing a video of that for anybody. But well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, those are really those are really cool. Um, Thank you, love. Yeah, hell yeah. All right, is everybody's numbers in? Because I'm ready to, to pick some numbers here. Let's uh, let's pick a number first for that left uh, section of of that. Look, I think it's solid prep this week. Yeah, see that looks solid to me. It looks like it's like sleeved over a black or something. Good God, look at how dense that is. Like, whew. Let's pick a winner for that, and then we'll pick a winner for one of these packs that comes with the Millie and the color samples and the stickers, and then we'll get into the games because I know some of y'all are here for the games. Some of y'all are like, "Fuck them games." I'm here to win these prizes, but it's okay. I, I respect. Saw a haunted mansion win. or something earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah yo shout out to burnettes this is my new steez right here i'm like descending ever further into <laughs> alcoholism no i'm just kidding man i'm uh, I, i'm honestly uh I, I i wasn't even kidding about the 20 pounds like, <laughs> since you saw that demo and me now because it's you know it is what it is man we get older and i'm just like i gotta cut out the beer if i can i can live my decadent life if i just stop the beer for a little while so yeah um all right let's pick these numbers Enough about me and, and uh, All right. my I bad habits. Numbers are still coming in, but I, I think... Uh, are they really still safe. coming in? Yeah, I All think right. people may well, be fighting over the numbers. I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. We'll give it We'll give it just another minute then. That's okay. Yeah, they're, they're sorting it out. People are saying, oh, I got that number first. So. All right, yeah. We'll give you guys just a minute to sort it out. Um, gosh, was there anything else that I wanted to talk about? A big apologies to anybody who has Red Max who's been offended by the memes lately. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, but I hope every I, I feel like all the all the homies get it, man. Like it's like a bit of a just an inside joke thing. We all kind of started on one. You know, it's a dank, I made a meme today. It's a dank torch for the money that you know, kind of thing. So but we've definitely been going in on it lately. It's uh, been quite, quite a thing. But I hope nobody takes that shit seriously, man. It's nothing but love for the Red Max. For the, I mean, you, you can get them for like, like 400 bucks used, 475 new. I mean, like, I, like, you could take a joke about the performance in stride. You know, you're not gonna get a uh, that type of thing. I've actually got a meme about this. I've not even wanted to put it on the. Uh, on the group because some of these some of these cats are too sensitive i don't want to feed their side of it too like C. My meme. <laughs> but uh where is it this one is uh this this one is for the people that don't like the red max memes this, and I'll, I'll share it here for you guys <laughs> oh my god <laughs> So, no way. <laughs> there is a bit of an element of that, you know, <laughs> but we're really, we're not, nobody's really trying to like punch down here. You know what I mean? Like, it's really not like that. So I hope nobody takes it that way. Woo. Your boy needs uh, one of these, one of my drinks. Give a shout out to Jelly Belly for discontinuing their line of uh, sparkling waters, man. We got these. <laughs> Eight packs for like a dollar each, man. Like half of our garage is full of these right now. Because we cleaned them out. I was like, uh-uh, this is the best chance to get dank sparkling waters forever. So, yeah, shout out. All right, you guys good on the numbers yet? Because uh, I'm trying to I play some games, so. man. All right, let's do this. I think so. Yeah, like, guys, if you're... If you're late on this, like, you got to watch the show, like, in real time. So that that's part of the issue here. Um, I won't rob you of Carrie's lovely visage. Other side, <laughs> other side, baby. There you go. All right. There you go. <laughs> All 
All right, um, let's give away that first section of the shit by the homie, man. That incredible crushed opal joint that looked like it come with a, a weed opal. Clickety clack. That's a 198. What's up? We have a 198? I see no 198. I don't see one either. Clickety clack. 183. Nope. 43. We're also going to be taking votes for uh, games, too. If you want to play a particular game, let us know now. Yeah, that was 143. 188. Nope. 144. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, that's a Todd Cochavelli. Hell yeah. All right, um, Todd, what you need to do now, like, the next 24 hours, or it's over. <laughs> uh, hit me up, mikemason at gmail.com. Uh, please get me a shipping address so I can pass that along to Ben over at Acadian. And we've got that, uh, that fresh ass, sparkling, incredible crushed opal prep. You know what, it's you guys? Beautiful. Yeah. Um, should we give away that other one now, too? Let's give away that other one after the first game. So you got to stay for one game if you want that other piece. But I do want to give away one of these Millie Packs right now to, to you guys who stuck with us through the demo. So that's going to come with a cane each of those uh, that are on the screen. And then color samples of Lemon Drop, or wait, Lime Drop and Blue Dream and all those stickers. So clickety-clack for that. Carrie, can you write that down too? Todd uh, won, Todd won Todd, the first Todd thing. Quackabelli. Yeah, and then we're going to figure out who won. Uh, we're... Um... You gotta put your uh, number drawer up again. So folks oh, I do need to do that. Yeah. Damn, well, I picked one twenty-eight and it didn't happen. Okay. And then okay. now thirty-two just came up. I see. A, ooh, I see like a few of these. What's going on? Yeah, there were a few thirty-threes. I um, I was like the fourth one telling somebody else that the. What's up? Somebody says that Drew Isgang has thirty-two, but I don't see it. S oh thirty-two or thirty-three? Oh thirty-two. What am I missing? Ink slang has one thirty-two. Is what I see, and then. Drew Ray also has 132, and then Randy Fine also has 132. Oh yeah, my but gosh. one guy's saying that somebody else has 32. Did somebody? Did yeah, no. Somebody he change was... their number? No, I, th I think I think it was wrong. Otherwise, we would have seen it, right? I guess. Yeah, Ink Slang after that says my number is 132. So lots of 132s. Okay, got you. So that that wasn't one. All right, let's do this thing. And had Cavicia picked 32 instead of 111, she would... 200. Who's got it? No? What am I missing? I see one. Where is it? There's a one out of one. It might be another one. Oh, I know. I see it. Do you see it? Oh, there we Pupusas go. Poopoo sauce a la grande. <laughs> uh, Poopoo sauce, I would like you <laughs> to hit me up at mikemason at gmail.com. For real, um, hit me with your shipping address. I've got that Millie pack going out for you. And then, yeah, let's uh, play some games, and then I'll give away another one of those Millie packs, a sticker pack, and we got that other crushed opal tubing from the homie, so, uh, Ben um, Moreau. Pupusas, did they get a, a sticker pack? They a, won one Millie of the pack. Millie packs. They won one of the subscriber extra packs. So, yeah, we're, uh... and yeah, did anybody suggest any games in the chat, Gary? No? Well, earlier I saw the uh, Murder Hotel, but that was, like, way long ago. Okay, we'll, but, play, uh... we'll play Murder Hotel. Wait, Hanoon's saying... Poo poo cheated. What? Uh oh. Uh oh. Somebody Jeez. else said poo poo cheated too. Let's let's find out the pupusas. Oh, I see that motherfucker picking multiple numbers. What's going uh -oh. on here? Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm Did sorry, dog. Yeah, qualify... that's not. No, we're picking another number actually. Uh uh uh. uh. Good Man. eyes, folks. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, good catches, dogs. Good catches. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, we're gonna pick another number for that Millie pack. Thirty-one. Millie, Millie. Millie. Oh, I see. I see it. I see. Sed has it, but somebody else might have it. No, I, I see it. it. Oh, Hendon had one thirty-one. Uh -huh. All right, that's my boy. Sed, hook it up, homie. Some uh, yeah, dude, I got that Millie pack for you after all. So get at me, Mike Mason at gmail dot com. And then yeah, let's play some games, and then we'll give away some more shit. That's that's what I'm feeling. I did hear trivia murder party two. So I think we'll start with that. All right, here we go. 
All right, so if anybody is unaware of Game Night, Game Night yeah. is jackbox.tv is where you want to go. And you need two screens. If you're on a computer, that could be two windows because you need to be able to watch this stream. However, you also need a controller. So you need to open another window and go to jackbox.tv to get the room code. The room code will be up here as soon as Mike gets this party started. If you are watching on a TV and you have a phone, then your phone can be the controller. If you're in a room full of people watching a TV, you're, you guys could all play together too. It's kind of the idea behind these games, I think, a little bit. But um, yeah, you need two screens to be able to watch and see what's going on and also be able to participate. If you don't get a spot in the in the room, you can still be in the audience. So yep. join me in the audience. Room code KYUB at jackbox.com. Uh, SED, dude, I would prefer an email because sometimes I have to search my email to find them later and stuff, and it's so much easier than having to like scroll through the 800 million things on Messenger. You guys would not believe how many people I talk to on Messenger every day. So many people <laughs> cause trouble on Torch Talk. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> oh shit, all right, this room is filling up. This is looking good. Awesome. Yeah, and if you've never done the game night before, stick around for a little bit just to see, yeah, it's you know, fun. see, see what it is. Yeah, we have, we have some fun. It's it's worth joining the audience or getting like a tablet out or whatever you do. Audience, come on up. Anything that can access the internet can act as your second screen, generally speaking, but... Okay, room code. That's a K-Y-U-B. All right, audience members are still flooding in. I'll give it just like a few, like 10 more seconds. You can still join once we start. Yeah, I think you call. can still join in the audience. Yeah, let's get this, let's get this going. Yeah. I don't know if you can get it on your Xbox or not, I imagine. Building you might want to watch the show on the Xbox via its YouTube thing or something, you know, and then use your phone as the thing. Sticky legs, eh? <laughs> This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. All right. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. You just checked in to a game of murder. <laughs> Only one of you will survive. And that one survivor better leave this hotel a glowing review online. I will not be screwed over by TripAdvisor again. Okay, first question. Which movie was not directed by John Hughes? Hmm. Use your device to answer the question. Damn. That goes for the audience, too. Hmm. Right? <laughs> Thought he directed every damn movie in the 80s. Time's almost up. And the correct answer is... Yes! Who fuck got the yeah. question right? Hell yeah. Thematically, it just didn't fit. I called that shit. The rest of you... Time for consequences. Make sure you watch your, your uh, controller so you get that full amount of time to answer. Ah, uh, the old skewer's trick. Pick a space in this box to hide yourself. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's oxygen, so try shallow breathing. <laughs> it's time for the volunteers. Okay, take this cool sword. On your device, choose a row or a column to run your sword through. Fun fact, when I found this magic pro- Harry, thrust! <laughs> what a Damn. terrible trick. Wow, good 
Good job, guys. Only one of you can survive this game. Who died? And who knows? Nobody. Maybe it'll be the audience. Wow. Hey, audience. I hope you all die in my game. Not much if you're of not ready now, so you can join the audience, whatever. <laughs> it's like super low press. Let's try another one. Okay. Which red fruit is traditionally used to make grenadine? <laughs> Time's running out. Who picked this? The rest of you, I want to show you something. They know too much. I got it. <laughs> I did it. Welcome to room 237. I figured you know, baby. Hopefully you can defend yourself from ESP. Again. Type in an answer that fits this category. Everyone else will answer too. Hmm. And if anyone matches you, you die. And I do mean anyone. Damn, did that work? <laughs> Hell yeah. I went for the easiest one. Okay. That's probably giving it away. <laughs> one. It bonds with everybody. Is that one? One? What do you mean? One is not an element. Yes, it is. <laughs> is it? Oh, Time's on the stop. Elemental number, okay. Electron numbers, right? <laughs> One of you didn't answer. Yeah, How dare you? Anyway, moving on. <laughs> oh, good. Someone actively contributed to you being murdered. <laughs> I no longer enjoy this game because I'm not winning. <laughs> <Don't> just play. <laughs> Don't worry. You're a ghost now. <laughs> Keep playing, and you just might steal someone I'm else's life party, force and win the game. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Who built the Pyramid of the Sun? I know, man. They all love the sun. Surprises me, man. Almost out of time. Can they play that game of basketball with the motherfuckers' heads, you know? Like, Who picked this? It's your boy. I don't know. What else say? The rest of you who are still alive, follow me. There's nothing more fun than fogged up mirrors. Oh, hey, look! The ghost of my Aunt Mildred is writing on this mirror. Pay attention to her unique handwriting. Now, Aunt Mildred is going to write a different word. But so will all the safe players. Draw a word on the mirror to camouflage Aunt Mildred's. <laughs> Let the drawing begin. Pay attention to the words as they appear and try to spot my auntie. So many convincing words to choose from. Now, type the word that Aunt Mildred wrote, or you die. <laughs> I'm gonna well, go with Jank. Obviously. She probably wrote Jank. Enter the right word now, or you die. <laughs> Definitely. Well, if you're really looking at the handwriting that she used, like you Would said. Would you, Aunt Mildred, please stand up? Uh, candy? Oh, mystery. Eh. Aunt Mildred would that, like but... never say that. It's time for you to join my Aunt Mildred. Me. 
ghosts. Oh my gosh, look at all these ghosts. Beans, you're the only one that's still alive. Yeah, this is crazy. Is it gonna take us to the end already then? I don't know. We're here. The final round is close. Next question. Which of the following is an odd toed ungulate? Probably that horse because it sounds like glue. <laughs> Undulate is glue. <laughs> what? <laughs> it says odd toad. Time's running uh, out. Do horses have toes? I don't know. I'm just saying it sounds a lot like glue. Okay. I this. fucking called that shit, but I didn't choose it because I'm stupid. What? Horses don't oh, have toes, they have wrong. hooves. Well, that's no fun. Hmm. <sighs> Let's See, baby, try another one. Listen to me. When is Celsius the, the same as Fahrenheit? <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, I fucked that up. Damn, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Who picked? This. Some smart motherfuckers right here. Come with I got me. That one as long as, as soon as it was too late. What I'm artist giving that you the laziest gift of all. Mm -hmm. A scratch ticket. Actually, scratching finds three dollar kind of signs to live. I like it. And if you keep scratching, I'll give you cash for so all the extra dollar scratcher? signs you find. But if you scratch off even one skull, you die. Happy scratching! Ooh, wouldn't it feel good to scratch some more spots? Ah. If you have a losing ticket, come with me. Beans join the party. Yeah. The ghost party. Oops! Didn't mean to kill all yeah, of you, still... but I still need one alive player. So... It's kind of arbitrary, but you have the most money. Anywho... <laughs> the time has come. Congrats on making it here alive! But can you escape? I'm going to give you a category. Yeah, his life back, huh? Major greenhouse gases. Tap okay. each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Lucky beans. <laughs> Let's see the right answers. You Pretty advance sure one space for every correct answer. Damn, man, beans is. You're like... on your way to escaping. Using oh Google wait, or... did you think it was going to be just you? <laughs> oh, that's cute. Beans is If a ghost catches up with you, <laughs> they will steal your life force. <laughs> then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question, and they get a third chance to help them catch up to you. Puccini, that definitely doesn't. Time sound is as almost up. <laughs> hmm, that one was too easy. Moving on. Black Mirror episodes. Oh, come on. Mike, you know this one, right? Yeah, I got this one for sure. <laughs> I don't have anything good to say about how the audience is doing. Has more than six legs. Hmm. Is it an arachnid? Damn, Beans is on the tear. Don't look behind you. 
Here comes the darkness. Words that are not there. They're feeling sorry Time for us now. Up. <laughs> Better, they're just trying to confuse us. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> we're starting to play at our level now, I see. <laughs> WWE wrestlers. Yeah, I don't really know nothing about women's wrestling that was past my time nothing against it the exit is so close yogurt brands also some shit I don't know nothing about this is not my game Maybe you should go shopping more with me. Uh-uh-uh, not so fast. You need a perfect answer for your final escape. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. Time is almost up. What the fuck is this Rizzoli and Isles clowns? Right? You have to get all the right answers to escape. That's right, Beans. We're coming for you, son. The tables have turned. Uh oh. Damn, how the mighty have Charts fallen. of lettuce. <laughs> we on that Charles lettuce. <laughs> 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 I hope that is, but it just make me laugh, yo. Get the Charles. I've never, I've never heard of Charles lettuce. Maybe right. we need to plant that. Wait, what? Another life force swap. Dating apps. Uh huh. Weird guys. Heads up. I mean, I don't know. What? That's a win. <laughs> Final chase in the, uh, the murder <laughs> movie. All right, my dog, uh, get at me, MikeMason at gmail.com. Uh, I have one of the Millie packs with for you, yo. Ooh. Yeah, so, okay, like I said, for, for the homie who just won the game, I got the Millie pack. Can you write that down, Carrie? Yeah, yeah, see, Mal. Thank you, yes, yes. And then uh, we're going to give away... That second uh, piece of dank ass came from the homie. Let's get this creepy music off first. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Let's do a man. Hey, whoops. No, 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 no. Uh oh. <laughs> exit. <laughs> I do want to exit. Let me out of this game. Go away. All right. And then we're just going to get out of this version of, of the Jackbox Party Pack. But yo, that's what we're about to, to let go. Again, thanks to my Rizzle Dizog. Uh, ben over at Acadian <laughs> Glassworks, man. Um, <clears throat> if you guys are not familiar, yo, uh, seriously, go check out the uh, the, the website. Woo! Opal's on deck. Hey, where'd it go? There it is. Um, and then, you know, the thing to really do for real, though, is, is get on my dog's Instagram because I see that he often... Here we Katie and Glassworks, there it is. Excuse me. Um, see, he puts up sections like this, like auctions them off and such. So it's like, and people can and bid on all these various ones. Man, this shit is hot. And doing it right, making it right. Look at this nice lathe. Whew. Okay, so yeah, um, let's go ahead and give away that section. But also give a give a moment to like I said, shout out my dog. I really do appreciate Ben. He's even been one of like the the um, sponsors for GCS. You know, just pitching in for years. 
to help me make this party possible. So, you know, I don't like to, to get too hung up on that. But at the same token, man, I mean, I've, I love everybody who makes this thing possible. I love everybody who tunes in and turns this thing into a fucking party where we can play games together and have this beautiful time. And this whole community that's formed around it just continues to blow my head. And uh, I'm, I'm beyond <laughs> grateful. Um, let me. What's up, Carrie? What's what's nothing? Is something happening? No, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Okay, all right, all mm. right. So let's go ahead and pick a number for that. Uh, what's going? What? The, you're gonna be extremely suspicious now. All right. I'll fill you in later. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm not picking any numbers until I figure this out. I'm just playing. All right. <laughs> all right. Here we go. You all ready to do this for that 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 fat piece of crushed opal tubing? <laughs> Oh, and yeah. fucking the Jerry Bear Opal. Hell yeah. Clickety clickety clack. Do we have a 167 what? I do not see one. We've got an 87. No. Nothing there either. 127. That's a seven. Carrie, you gotta be more like Vanna White or whatever. You gotta like put your hands up to the thing, you know, and be like, mm, mm, and then right, right when you pretend to spin the number, I'll hit the thing. Other side, other. There you go, exactly. Now pretend to. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> all right, all right. Now pretend to spin the number or whatever. Oh, twenty-four. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. One twenty-four, I see, but. All right, 172. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nope, I don't see him. All right, six. Come on, we got a six. Lots of sixes. Yeah, wait. But they're all mucked up in other numbers. Yeah, well. Got to do a six alone. All right, all right, it's okay. 58. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh. Nope. Beans is like always the bridesmaid, never the bride, man. Every fucking, always got part of the numbers or whatever. <laughs> I do. Wait, who is it? I do see a 72. Ooh, That's Merlin. A, that Merlin Sand. So yeah, my dog, um, please, uh, Mike Mason at gmail.com. Please get me your address so I can pass that over to Ben, the homie at Acadian. Um, and then <clears throat> let's play, play another game. The yeah. winner of that. I've got, I've got a sticker pack for the winner of that game. At least that will come with the hand sanitizer. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's get, let's, uh, what game should we play now? Bracketeering? Bracketeering is always a good one. How Bracketeering is the deal. Yeah. Or Fibbage. Everybody does like Fibbage. Oh, Fibbage is a good one. You want to do Fibbage? Let's do Fibbage. Yeah, we did Bracketeering. We did Bracketeering time. a lot lately. Okay. I can I can respect the uh, pass. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, Jackbox TV again, everybody. And your room code is going to be a little bit different this time. So going on here all right this is a game where we all try and lie to each other and get us get each other to vote for your lie you would never do that mm. teenage carrie would have been really good at this game huh <laughs> i think adult carrie might not be so bad either <laughs> uh 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 you're so what, what was that other one one. Let's go back real quick. What the okay, fuck is that? Right. Play Fibbage Enough About You. What's that? Oh, Fibbage Enough About You. Have we ever mm. played this before? What is that? I don't know. We'll have to find out together. The Let's do it. color scheme is different. The new version. S-B-R-I is the room code. Once again, I will let other people join in, and if you don't, then I will hop on in there. I used to be in the audience, but Facebook, or Facebook, Jackbox.tv, room code S-B-R-I. Where is everybody? There's a 
heat. Okay, all right. 130 people watching. There we go. Here we go. All right. And anybody that's not in, join me in the audience and we'll see what this game is about. Damn, looks like everybody's about in on this thing. Let's do this. Yeah. Yo, guys, don't forget to check in the video description, though, and, and vote for Pogo in that fucking contest, okay? You know what I'm talking about, right? Chiba Hut. Chiba Hut. Let me pull that up real quick. Let's check where the homie's at. Make sure he's still in first place. There he is, man. That's our boy. Dude, he's got like nearly a hundred fucking vote lead, you guys. Let's keep him there. It still hasn't let me vote again, man. I swear I voted the first day at four and then it didn't unlock this thing until around 11 at night. But whatever, I voted. Um, <clears throat> look at this, look at this cool fucking thing. Look at, look at the, he made a nice background and all the, that's really good. Some of these others are cool and all, don't get me wrong, but like they just got it sitting on the wall and shit and like this guy couldn't afford colored pencils and shit. Like, come on. I'm just playing around, but um Some of these are nice. This one we don't understand. If anybody understands the cheaper thing. We don't understand why this is in this guy's gonna get a year worth of cheaper hut for free. For that. That's pretty cool but don't vote for it or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yo, this shit is tight, man. Um, I did want to give the homie a shout out for that. So don't forget to vote with dogs and vote vote every day until this motherfucker's over. Our man's going to win this thing and then it's going to be on the fucking bag, yo. See? Boring ass bag before and after it's going to be covered in pipes. Okay, all right, enough. Let's play the game. I'm sorry. I, I just, man, dude, I, I just think it's so cool. And Pogo's a really nice guy, so. Let's support the homie. All right. Hi, I'm Cookie, and this is Enough About You, the game named after the phrase I hear most often at my support group. <laughs> How good an eight-player game. Maximum chance of misspelled words. Oh, and if anybody else wants to join, they can get in the audience at any time. You can vote on decoy answers to trip up the players, and you get to take a shot at guessing the truth. Let's hit it. Okay, here's the deal. You're about to see a question on your device. Answer truthfully. In a sec, you'll get your chance to lie about your fellow players. You get 500 points for everyone you fool with your lies, 1,000 for finding huh. the truth, and okay. if the question's about you, you get a reputation bonus for every player who gets the answer right. Got all that? Good. Answer your question now. <laughs> all right, all right. I want to see what kind of reputation bonus you get. <laughs> Let's see, man, you're not supposed to get a bonus for spending too much money on pornography, but whatever. <laughs> oh, really? Come on, time's running now out. Now we know which answer is Mike's. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, enough about you. <laughs> exactly, that's the but up to <laughs> Okay, here's your first question. If this player had to sing karaoke, they would mm. choose to sing blank. Write your lies now. Pete. Pete. <laughs> Pete. 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 Dr. P, I don't know. <laughs> Guys, make sure you're using your devices and keeping track of your controllers. 
finish quick before you Damn, ruin it for everyone. Let you pull that shit back. All right, find the truth. <laughs> Stinky Pete. <laughs> hmm. Bump and gring. That's it. <laughs> I know. Love this part. And still, someone throwed me a bone. Thank you, Sticky Legs. Aww. Thank you. Bump and green. <laughs> Just a little bump and green. Yeah. I don't see nothing wrong. Just a little bump and green. <laughs> <laughs> believe that Bump and Gring has put me into the lead. What the fuck? Try this Damn. one. A nickname that I this player had, but like, didn't like, was like was blank. That okay, enter your lives. It definitely wasn't a generated answer. Man, this is crazy. You're supposed to guess the fucking... Yeah, this one's probably better for, yeah. like, homies who kick it all day and know, and know each other's insecurities. No, this is great. We get to learn about each other <laughs> and true. our insecurities. <laughs> Training men. Little shorty. Ah. Hurry up and finish before time runs out. Wednesday Adams. <laughs> Zeno's like another day of the week. Right, yeah. Okay, okay here you go. Find the truth. <laughs> Jeez. Hmm. Well. Hot keys. Weasel, but you know. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Mm. Uncle Phil. <laughs> yes. <A> fucking rich. <laughs> this is mm, awesome. Great life. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Can't lie to me. Can't lie to me. <laughs> Mike is the human lie detector. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Holy <Jeez>. shit. <laughs> okay, here's your question. This player wishes they lived closer to a an blank. airport. Type in your lies now. He doesn't wish they lived closer to an airport. Or you know, Trader Joe's too. Watch Out of the Box with Carrie and you'll learn why you need to be close to Trader Joe's. Damn. Should have picked dispensary. Oh. That was a good one, right? Yeah, yeah. Carol ducking baskets. If I picked that one, man. Almost up. Lead would have been disparaging. All right, pick the truth. 
to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Closer to a glory hole. <laughs> <laughs> Brothel. Oh my god. So many good answers here. That motherfucker's really nice cream. I was playing. <laughs> Every flavor. All right, let's see what you guys picked. Pete told us more about himself with that choice than I think he did about the <laughs> unfulfilled on his plan. <laughs> oh? Nobody thought of this. What? Okay. Kiln was good, but Glory Hole was funnier. Come on. <laughs> oh, poor Phil. The thing is, like, I want to live closer Get you to the subway right now. Yeah, I'm the question is, <laughs> something this player has tried but just can't get into is blank. Mm. Mm. All right, type in your lies. Mm. This is interesting, <laughs> yeah, Man, shit, shout out to 131 homies still fucking hanging out with us for game, for game time. time? I awesome. love y'all. This is amazing. I mean, at a real event, you cannot get that many people into one room at a time. Like, we're transcending, you know, like, what's... Hey, I'm serious getting all that, that talk. That timer. Finish quick. This is beautiful. You guys are all here, and we're getting to have this time together is what I'm trying to say. I really appreciate it. If you're still all here right, and not part of the, the audience, truth? you can still be here in the audience. Okay. My tender gay moment. Tiger sex. Interrupted by gay tiger sex. But you in know, SBRI. How it goes. I love you guys. I love you guys. Gay tiger <laughs> gay sex. Gay tiger sex. <laughs> well, has tried. Okay, all right. Hmm, can't get into is. I'm going to say soft glass. I'm going to go with butt stuff. Okay. All right. Let's see what everybody selected. <laughs> <laughs> Sticky legs got the controversial choices, but still making out. Yes. Good lying there, well fibbed. <laughs> <laughs> aye, aye. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Hmm. Well, there it is. What? Boring. Hot dog. You're supposed to tell us something interesting about yourself. Everybody hates hot dogs. <laughs> you just eat them because they're like they're there and like there's no they're more convenient. hamburgers ready. <laughs> okay, focus up. Be another five if this minutes for these gets burgers. Like, All right, in well, the I'll next take a dog. Life, they'll probably be Sticky blank. Legs. Sticky legs. The and spider. Realize now. Aphid. Sticky no legs. Problem. The aphid. Just as weird. Okay. Finish quick before you Okay, seek the truth. Oh my. <laughs> Mia Shea oh. piece, nice. Okay, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Mia Shea got some fans in the crowd out there, I see. <laughs> she was really fun. I really liked having her on. She took the show in a, a more organic direction. I liked it. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. All right, they'll probably be... Like a moth to the flame. And what did people pick? Sticky arms, that's good. 
<laughs> oh my. Because they like the flame. Come on. I know, I know. Pete, Pete trying to come up on me. I'm off a sloth. You can't outline me, son. Oh, yeah. I was just hoping that sticky legs. Well, chosen so much for that object. one. Yes, yes. A clown, huh? Uh huh. All right, all right. Not you my can choice, just clown okay. this leg if you'd like. Yeah, right. Like you don't even gotta reincarnate for that. Just put on your <laughs> fucking makeup. That'd be just all as right, creepy in this <laughs> life. The very first as you album in this next. player bought. <laughs> Why wait until you're blank. dead? <laughs> okay, enter your life. <laughs> to creep people out. First, very first album. Finish before time runs out. Okay, which one's the truth? Oh, yeah. <laughs> And Backstreet Boys. Right. We got some, some serious Backstreet vibe going on out there. What's going on? Okay, what did everyone pick? This game show music is great. Damn, see, that was too weird, man. It was either the real thing or their lie. But their life shouldn't be in there because we got eight players. Who oh left? Oh, Mike, you got me again. Somebody's out there hitting the bomb. Fade to black, huh? Let's quit trying to be cool. You know it was Paula Abdul. Metallica. Okay, all right. Now listen up. Uh, this player well, since, spends since too track. much money on uh -oh. blank. <laughs> Write your lies I mean, now. really. Oh, this should be good. None of these three answers that they're trying to get me to pick. <laughs> I bet you like four of you are like, please select another, that was the truth. <laughs> I'm curious to see what some of these populated answers are and what people think that you spend your money on. Right? There better not be any funny business. Oh, it's all funny business. I'm just <laughs> okay. And it's oh, probably God. all true. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> these are some good answers. These are good answers. China White, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, who picked what? <laughs> Whoever put oxygen in. Truth? No. Come on, y'all just don't... saw that high volume system in the background. You know it'll pay too much. Right, for that. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gosh, I want to know what the truth is then. Okay, all right. Craft beers, not just beer. <laughs> Craft beers sounded like what everybody else always says, so I thought maybe maybe you would just say beer. You got me too. Time for the final round. <laughs> Everyone writes one truth and one lie about Ooh, themselves. Doesn't matter what it is. Dig deep because you get points for any player you fool with your lie and for spotting other players' truths. Go! 
<laughs> one truth and one lie about yourself, huh? Hey, Dustin Revere's in chat. Your time's half gone. If you're still working on that truth, you might want to move on to your lies. Which statement about this player is true? Hey, that seems excessive. I know, Shall right? One of these is twice weird. a week. <laughs> is he a Terminator or a weirdo? I'm gonna go with weirdo. <laughs> no, I don't know, man. Does a motherfucker have like a job that requires a shower or? <laughs> You're gonna have to explain this one to us Sunday. I mean, cleanliness is next to godliness and all. I mean, I call you a weirdo. Oh, they say. Kind of mean, but, you know. Yeah, what? I got the truth. So you're a Terminator? What's... No, colorblindness. Oh, wait. Red? Only red? Like, it's like looking into a virtual boy or whatever? Yeah, he's a bug. <laughs> a bug? I don't think that's how bugs see. Uh, oh, look at this kind of weird thing. No, oh, man, my boy is super cool. Don't play games with us. Aww. Alright, so which one do you really think he chose? Which one? Exactly what's happening is just every now and then they seem to have some weird edge or something that'll catch that little bubble and it's like, God damn it. Spent too much money on these fucking things. That doesn't <laughs> happen to opals from any of my sponsors, so we'll be clear. I think he boils cads. Uh-huh, that's right. <clears throat> Aww. 
my guess, based on previous responses about a kiln. Yeah, come on, say... dog. You would have mentioned the Rona by now. Shit. Man, I'm telling you, glass events next year, we're gonna be in there like in a full body condoms, like in the naked gun or whatever. <laughs> you know what we're talking about? No? You remember? Oh my. Spot the truth. I can, I can, I can picture it in my head. Based on, on that, you know, but. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tough one. This is really tough. Hey. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <hilarious. laughs> Anyways. Oh, sorry. Good okay. Yeah. <laughs> I know you like Janeway. I hear a lot about her. That's right, I'm hard. Totally. Take a guess. Camped, get off. Mm. This is also tough. I mean, you can't even type, so I'm gonna say you tripped hard. <laughs> Does anybody get off during an LSD trip? I've seen it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See some weird shit though. This chick started sucking everybody's toes in the room one time. It was fucking weird. That is very weird. I know, I know. I didn't make that up, I swear to god. Okay. Next next vivid round. <laughs> we were a bunch of like college wooks and shit. These were not some clean feet. Gross. I know, I know. Too I mean, I'm not saying they were that bad, but like, it wasn't like anybody was prepared for this moment. And you all put your toes in her mouth? Yes. <laughs> that, <laughs> we were all tripping balls, man. Who were we to deny what it she wanted to do? It felt really good. That was her trip, man. That's what she wanted to oh do at that moment. So yeah, we did. <laughs> we let that chick suck our toes. It was crazy. That is just disgusting. <laughs> I, swear to God, I swear to God this happened. This game, this game brings out truths about people. I will say that. <laughs> that is one big dog. <laughs> That was a route. All right, sticker packs for me. <laughs> no, no, for real. Where are the? Where's the leaderboard? What happened? Give us, show us that leaderboard again. All right, Pete. I want you to get at me, Mike Mason at gmail.com. I got you a hooked up sticker pack. For sure. And let's pick another one for the audience that's still sticking with Dan. There's even more viewers now. 144 homies in the house. All right. Let's pick another number for you guys. Oh, shit. Dustin's in the house. Dustin, my man. Yeah, Dustin stopped in earlier. He had to go for dinner, but... Very good. This yeah. is awesome. This is great. Let's pick another number for you guys out there. And then we'll play a different game. Whoops. What happened? I fucked up. Go away. Go away, game. Do this another time. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Let's let's. Where's my random dot is org? Here it is. Where's Carrie? There she is. We're doing this. Ready to spin. Hey, what is what? Oh, 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 what happened? It's gone. I just don't want to make a noise right now. I want to pick a winner and make it all ceremonious for them and shit. Here we go. All right. <laughs> oh, 
you guys throwing in numbers, cool, you guys got it. But the, the, we're going to use the same numbers as before, so if you already have a number, don't uh, don't add more numbers. Yeah, yeah. But if you just got here, yeah, it's 1 through 200. Well, now I feel bad, motherfuckers are putting in new numbers. Uh, yeah, all right, I'm going to do this thing. Clickety-clack, 37. What's up? I see nothing. I got nothing there either. All right, 200. I, we already did that. What? Where'd it go? Yeah, but okay, because you it's the character limit in the chat. <laughs> okay. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Let's, let's keep moving. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> All right, 58. <laughs> I had 58. The drips says. The drips. But it, did he actually pick 58? Uh, I'm confused. Um... You know, I don't think my chat goes back. I don't see the homie picking any other number. He just said, I had 58. I don't get it. I'm a little confused here, actually. I think my chat doesn't go back far enough. Well, mine goes way past the numbers. We're good on that, but... Okay, well, that's good. So, yeah, I think, uh, obviously, he has 58. I guess so. The drips, I got you, baby. And if you didn't, just, just be real with me and be like, nah, I wasn't picking that number or something. It's all good. All right, let's play another game. We'll pick some more fucking packs. I don't care. I got like 50 of them sitting in the other room. Yeah. Yeah. All right, but what game should we play now is the question. Are there any games where there are more players? Somebody was asking earlier. I wish there were more players. Uh, I don't... I, I feel but like... I can't remember. Uh, the ones with... Uh, I don't know. I think the ones that allow the audience in are the ones that have the most players. Wow, like 155 people watching now, huh? Yeah, let's let's do bracketeering. That lets a lot of people in, doesn't it? Well, let's see. Jackbox TV with most players. <laughs> All right. Here we go, bracketeering. Alright guys, good answers this game. <laughs> Alright, so, get your controller ready. Second screen. If you're watching on TV, you got your phone. If you're on a computer, you've got two windows. Jackbox.tv. And a room code. I did it. <laughs> y N G B. You only get three characters in this one, and I've been always meaning to remember to, to make my name Sex. That's, <laughs> that's right. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Be limited to three characters. That's right. Sex sells, baby. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh shoot! I got in there. <laughs> Yeah, this this game has 16 players, so th this should this is a good one, and everybody gets to suggest shit. It's tight, and the audience gets to vote and everything too. It's lit. Am I still in there, or did it drop me out? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea, Carrie. It would be C A L. I'm in there though. You're here for moral support, regardless. This is awesome. I really do appreciate everybody joining us, man. Have playing games together. This is uh, this is tight. This is just what I would want to do with y'all if we were able to be in the same room. You know, we watch a fat fire demo together. You know, and then play some games together, have some drinks and shit, make each other laugh. Can you scroll left on this screen to see uh, the? No, it, it's just loading players in as we get closer to 16. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have any control over that, so. I accidentally joined and then I accidentally out my window. Uh-oh. Now I'm not sure if I'm in there or not. It's crazy. All right, well, I guess I'll... Oh, look at that. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. Okay, I was give still it, in there. Give it just a little longer. Well, well this this seems like a, a good time for a little bathroom break. break well, rather. we are going to get started here in just a second, but There's sure. There's, like, three more, four more players. Yeah, but... All right. oh, how, how long are we gonna wait? A man must play a game at a certain point, hey? <laughs> All 
All right, I'm gonna give this like 30 more seconds for real. That's it. Oh, oh. Okay, well, it's like a 30 second rule or whatever. It's like an auction. Now that somebody just joined, we'll give it another 30 seconds. All right, all right, let's do this. I've had enough waiting. Three, two, one. We've got big fun waiting to be unleashed. We'll be posing some of life's most important questions. Your answers will be paired off in a no-holds-barred tournament. And your votes will determine which answers advance in the bracket. As we whittle down to our championship winner, this is Bracketeering. I'm sending the topic of our first bracket to your devices now. Most annoying pet name for a spouse or partner. Get your snuggums ready. Type in the answer you think has the best chance of winning and hit send. If your answer wins the entire bracket, you'll be rolling in cash. By the way, you can join the audience and play along by going to jackbox.tv and entering the room code. Time's running out. Your answers are being paired off into one-on-one -on -one matchups. That means it's time to sidle up to the prediction table. On your device, you'll see one of the upcoming matchups for this bracket. <laughs> if you can predict the answer that will get the most votes, you could win some sizable bonus bucks. Oh, and don't forget, if you think the odds are stacked against your own answer, you can still get some cash by oh, predicting yeah. the predictions are in. I found this list on the website. Let's dive into our first bracket. Oh, boy. Well, Use your device to vote on which you think deserves to win. But don't forget, if you change your mind, you can change your vote. Jesus. The clock is running out on voting time. Some of these are like this. My Others little smoochie woochie. Yeah, one's representative wiener. <laughs> no one could have predicted yeah. this oh one. Yeah. Number 25 Next is vegetarian. Up. Oh. Come give it to me, Jiggly. A real <laughs> Okay. Now that you put it that way. <laughs> Sweetums. This one could be decided Hi, by a single vote. Yeah, Sweetums. Let's, <laughs> let's not do that one. <laughs> Back and forth they went. Let's see what tensions are mounting over in the Omega Conference. Oh, God. What a bay. Yeah, I know that's one of your favorites. The lead keeps but changing hands. Carol Baskin. I mean, come on. That's, that's strong. Know, right? That's tough. Yes. Damn, bay is at the lead, though. Nobody wants to be called that. Affection creeps me out. Oh, bay. <laughs> Don't be silly. Any Smoochie prediction Woochie. winners just made a killing. Oh. It's time to round out the bracket with this vicious matchup. <laughs> All right, I see what the drip said in the chat. Thank you for being no honest, my dude. No one thought it would be this close. That makes sense why we couldn't find the original number. Only a few seconds left to vote. Split right down the middle. Tap on your device as fast as you can to cheer for your answer. <laughs> My screen. Just please wait while the others tap their phones like idiots. <laughs> <laughs> the tie is broken. I'm nice. going to miss I've the tie I've never noticed times. that before. Nice. Thanks, Jackpot. 
Before we get on to round two, it's time to make another prediction. You've got a new matchup waiting for you on your device. Predict the one you think is going to win. The predictions are in. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. This one's looking over. Sweet was that company and totally Park gross. <laughs> Our winner moves on to the final, but let's find out what they'll face off against. <laughs> There's one person in the game on Two these. answers battle tested with tough first round matches. You guys are going to jump in and vote if you go to the jackpot thing and put in the code. That's right. Room code YNGB. I am on the edge of my seat. Just running out the clock. Ran away with that one. A surprise win for some of our predictors. And now we finally decide what is the most annoying pet name for a spouse or partner. Mm. An upset in the making. I already played this one really straight. It's a nail biter! We have our first winner! My smoochy woochy. The CC same wah. Carrie hates it when I call her NS. That was one hell of a bracket. Let's see how the scores <laughs> shook out. What? It's like a really ugly color. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that sex? Oh, there he is. <laughs> it's time for the blind bracket. All you'll be given is the category. Name an activity people probably did a lot in the olden times. Go ahead and write the first thing that comes to mind. We'll see the real bracket <laughs> title after the answers are all in. Let's see what this bracket is really about. Best folk band album title. Time to get in those predictions. for the ages. <laughs> Everybody's playing this game so honestly tonight. They're like, no, no, they did, made me. Get those just last today. second votes in now. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, all right. Thank you. There you go. All right. Thank you. Oh, more ups and downs than a roller second coaster. One. that they're talking about a best Our folk next band album title, but it's clearly it's a wrong. like this that truly makes this game the sport of kings. I don't know. 
drive-in movies. The struggle is That's real. the olden days? Yeah, that's... What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> this one seems like it's over before it's done. Our audience is young. Indeed. Talked on that the phone. Me goosebumps. Yeah. Well, you owned an Nokia? Olden times. <laughs> Money if you guessed it. Why don't we see what's going on on the other side of the bracket? This is why we do this, folks. Mmm, and they're playing in my heart right here with that Red Max thing, but. Fucked on toes! It's <laughs> <laughs> really going back and forth. <laughs> Just running up the clock now. Ah, I should have never told you all that shit. <laughs> Talk about an underdog tale! Sucking on toes. That's be a better album name. It's time to <laughs> round out the bracket with this vicious matchup. Could this be a blowout? <laughs> We're upset in the making. Yes. <laughs> the next one's looking over. Chewing the old coca leaf. That kind of domination is illegal in some states. <laughs> Money, if you guessed it. Before we get on to round two, it's time to make another prediction. This is this is tough. I know it's like they're both my children, frankly. So how do I choose? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> the predictions are in. Let's jump back to our back for round and you're not two. Quite sure what's going on. <laughs> you free to pop up in the audience. Jackbox.tv. Room code YNGB. And you can be in the audience. They had condoms back then, though, man. They were made out of like a lamb's blood like or some bullshit, shit. you know. <laughs> Moving into overtime. <laughs> Show your support for your answer by tapping on your device as fast as you can. Wow, this one's close. That tie went bye-bye. Oh, how I hate ambiguity. One more match to determine our finals. No one thought it would be this close. I'm not sure I'd buy that album. <laughs> I would buy the folk oh, album. Just happy noises. Health you live, you live All through day. it, so. We have a few lucky winners. And now the final face off. What is the best folk band album title? A clear front runner. A real tug of war. Will we see a final push? <coughs> I'm impressed with the performance of the churn butter. Though. This was a big win. Yes. Hell yes. <laughs> Let's take another peek at the scoreboard. <laughs> yes. All right. Mike's happy he's in the lead again. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Oh, you were and the now, cocaine, for the huh? Bracket That's you've right. All been waiting for a good one, right? I, I was the sucked on toast. This That's what will people did back in the day, man. Single Suck round. on toes, I know. Let's no. start with a category. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they so did in 1999. Super villain. <laughs> the Florida State dorm room. Who knows what crazy twists and turns this bracket will take? 
Oh boy. <laughs> Time's running out. Let's see what we're dealing with. Superhero or supervillain that would be the most fun to go on a road trip with. Time to get in those predictions. Oh gosh. All cash is doubled this round, so make these choices count. <laughs> oh, that's a good one too. <laughs> the predictions are in. Let's start with a bang. These answers faced off last year, but will the results be the same? some E-40 listeners in the audience. I am on the edge of my seat! <laughs> Who'll come out on top? We've got overtime! Tap on your device as fast as you can to cheer for your answer! Sweat. <laughs> Baby, you know you're muted, right? Next up. Muted? Yeah, you were. They didn't hear any of my funny comments. Uh, Sorry, I was wondering about that. It sounded like a party, though. When was the last time you heard me talk? Uh, before I ran in to get a drink. Damn. <laughs> Only a few seconds left to vote. Powdered toast, man, eh? The human heart is a fickle beast. There's cash if you predicted this one. Let's see what tensions are mounting over in the Eastern Conference. Folks, I've been waiting for this matchup my entire career. Iron Man can be learning to do drugs the easiest. <laughs> Just okay. running out the clock now. Damn. Darkwing Duck fans in the house. Grandma likes! <laughs> it's time to round out the bracket with this vicious oh, matchup. No blood, man. Overwhelming support already. Hmm. No one thought it would be this close. Skeletor this one seems one. like it's over before <laughs> it's done. He's been played uh -huh. for humor recently. So, uh, it Aquaman doesn't get any closer than that. And clean. There's cash if you predicted this one. Let's switch up this bracket would make the best lover. Get those <laughs> predictions in now. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, gosh. I must say breakfast in bed. I know. I'm feeling like powdered toast man would have that on lock. But it's right? powdered fucking toast. It's gross by nature. Like, he wouldn't give you, like, a good meal. He'd just bring you powdered fucking toast. Maybe it's powdered French toast. I don't think so. That that was literally just like bread crumbs. Time's running out. A joke, so you, we, we should have all gone with the tick, but whatever. The predictions are I don't want the tick in. in bed with me. I'm sorry. Let's jump back to our bracket <laughs> for round two. That was my nickname in college. Come on. Because <laughs> you got under their skin. Oh. oh. <laughs> the I sucked them dry. <laughs> <laughs> just play. 
a real tug of war. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> The clock is running out on voting Somebody time. in chat did notice my joke earlier that I haven't Oh yeah. Back to yeah, oh, back. Yeah, good, good. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's curious looking for. The finals are just a win away from these <laughs> next two answers. Votes are coming in. I don't know where this dark wing death fetish came from. <laughs> An upset in the making. <laughs> it's a different, different time. Versus the skinless evil man. This one's going down to the wire. Skeletor is funny. Quackity, quackity, I don't duck, remember duck, quack. Skeletor being funny. He's funny now. Mm. He's been okay. <laughs> okay. One more change. <laughs> Probably takes the smelliest oops. Oh, God. I hope your answer still makes sense. And now the definitive oh, matchup. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go with Pattern Toast Man on that. The winner starts to emerge. Just over there pounding carbs. <laughs> it's really going back and forth. I mean, Skeletor kind of passes right through him as he eats, right? So yeah. there's really no defecation to occur. We have a winner! Good job. But who walked away with the top score? <laughs> Can't go wrong with the way they are running. Powdered Toast Man. <laughs> Damn, he took big points on that one. Knocked me right out of the lead. All right, uh, NFO, get at me, man. Uh, Mike Mason at gmail.com. So many people still looking. I know, right? Still we should keep this. playing games if everybody still wants to keep it, playing, yeah. man. Yeah. Not this game, but you know. What game should, should we play? The rap game. I love the rap game. All right, we're gonna play the rap game because Carrie loves the rap game. Y'all ready to become rappers? I feel like there are enough people watching that we should be able to get some good contestants here man right. i i still i would like to see you and takota play this game against each other yeah i don't think we were feeling that but you know one day perhaps maybe maybe mm -hmm. all right which one is the one with the thing i find my shit all right there it is all right this game is hot so rapper for rapper uh, yeah, if you guys are feeling like you can rhyme, this is your game. It's, uh, it's kind of fun. If you can't, if you feel ultra pressured, you can't come up with an answer, you can always say autofill for me, but it's always so much more fun when you can actually pick your answer. And, uh, this is an another one. So, there is a slight lag on these because, um, of the whole going to YouTube thing. And so you really want to make sure that you're watching your game controller Yo, so you can you get in as quick as anyway. possible so you don't waste like an extra 10 seconds what? Oops, what? trying to come up with your answer. So here is your room code, folks. Q-A-W-W. -W. <laughs> Rap game. And yeah, 155 people joining us tonight. This is awesome. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Everybody that's been in chat. Everybody that's hanging out and watching and playing games with us. I hope you guys love this game as much as I do. Um, if you're having a good time, go on over and hit that thumbs up button. Um, if you want to join the loser, you can hit that thumbs down button. But you know whatever um if you want to make sure you catch us in the future make sure you hit that subscribe and that little bell the notification button and uh yeah torch torch stock has been going on for like the last month now and it's extra extended version of torch talk with game night at the end so if you guys like playing games as much as we do i think this is a riot um yeah you can stick around and play games and i think there's room for one two three more players here so uh, um yeah you can jump on in and 
I don't know if Mike was able to look back at the numbers, drips. I think you said you were 158 and we picked 58 or something like that. Um, I, I don't recall. All right, one more player. Yes. Be so much fun, Mike. Are we ready? All right. Doors open in three, two, one. All right. Let's do this. Hey, 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 hey! Yo, it's Shadow Master down here. Try not to step on a brother, all right? Okay, it's your turn, Rach. I gotta figure out what's going on with all these robots. All right, I can do this. Here's how you do it. We'll ask you for a word or a phrase. We'll use it to complete line one of your rap. You then write a line that rhymes with it. We do that about two times and you have your four line verse. We hear him back and we vote on that winner, which honestly you all are. What's the word, Shadow? Check it out. The robots are staying, so we'll see if we got a city after this. All right, hip hop heads, are you ready? I can't hear that. I said, are you ready? Cool, cool. Let's get it in. Time to get them lyrics down. I need you to write a word or a phrase, then an entire line that rhymes with the one that we give back to you. You need help? Just use the suggestion button on your device. Folks in the audience can hit those buttons to help tear down the city. Remember to keep an eye on your device if you're playing the game. That way you get all the time to answer. Mike's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, having a good time over hey, here. Hey, I've learned <laughs> The type of setups it uses, so I've been able to think of some of the funnier words to put in. <laughs> Got half of your writing done? Because you should. <laughs> right for me to have us fill in your line. All right, I'm, I'm good. You better get them fingers moving. the draw check out who's going up against who check it out this is the first battle of the night let's go y'all remember to hit those voting buttons during the rhyme and yeah, this we game's a little if slow if you're not actually not. in it while you're writing you know what i mean it's kind of but once it gets going it's good cool. and see and conquer just like caesar and snatch your torch <laughs> like a river <laughs> game is second only to my three card molly i'm cool in this rhymes <laughs> oh boy. and everything's fine okay i don't know about that but 
mean, I'll drink to that. Don't get me wrong. But... Come on now, don't let them get away with that. <laughs> I got a big heart. My rhymes are full of glass sadness. All these chime rigs got me going into madness. Mm. I won an Nobel Prize for flexing. Enjoy your life just sitting there flexing. Yes, it's <laughs> That is ridiculous. I'm digging that. What you gonna do for your second? Okay, now it's over. Who's the dopest rapper? Who's the wackest cat? I gotta give it up for uh, That's a tough one. Meeks on this one. Sorry, Yo Yo. Yours was just too abstract. It was like some odd future to... shit. I, you Whoa. Know. <laughs> Damn. That can make And our winner is you. <laughs> Congratulations. Check it out. I need my next battle is up and ready to go. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Ring it. To rhyme, Red Mac. Uh oh. You better recognize I'm the ultimate weapon. Pop goes the reason. You adult. First time around. I don't know if you're ready for what I put into this fucking machine, though. You gotta come strong, too. <laughs> Trying to catch me is a wild goose fight. This was never an option and I'm giving you the knife. My talent's so big we're running out of trees. Past the LT girl and she dropped to her knees. Okay, alright, that's cool. The battle is over. It's time for you to pick up your devices and vote. Oh, uh, what? Time right now. To suck your toes. I get it. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. We got our winner. I need my next two couple of MCs to step up. Here we go. Here we what go. Mean? No money, no coffee mugs. Just give me hugs and hugs. <laughs> Got fire in my heart, ice in my fingers. This particular line of scratch and sniff. <laughs> nice. That's First cute. Time out, straight <laughs> Look at Mark's tape spewing back up. there. You know you gotta answer that. <laughs> Put some weights on them muscles and get them words out. My battle routine is brush floss and giving me the big arms. Running out of freshness, setting of alarms. Waka Bamzu is my battle hit. I love what you've done with your hair. Alright, alright. I see what you're working with. Alright, y'all, it's voting time. It's like they Let's both fell apart happen. in the second half. I gotta go with Joe because his first half was cuter. <laughs> Did you forget to vote? All right, if anybody in the audience wants to suggest what game we play after this, let's do it. Here's your win. Has everybody in the audience put a number in, too? I need my next two MCs to step up I'm going to pick another here. sticker pack winner, man. Go? I don't give a shit. There's 166 of y'all here enjoying this time with us. I really appreciate it. So I'm going to keep fucking giving out sticker packs. Make sure you got a number in the chat, 1 through 200. Most just run ever. I'm so tough. They call me Mark Ruffalo. Dooby 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 run. Alright. Peace and love. Let's move on. It's time for you to come back. Show them your strength. From the future, my game is next gen tight. Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z. Some say I'm flashy, some say I'm smooth. I hope my last line rhymes with Ruta Vega. Okay. That was okay. Wasn't the best I heard, but it wasn't the worst either. Check it. Tell me who was the whack cat, and then tell me who was the hot line. I don't even fucking know. I just close my Let's eyes. Get those votes in. Excellent. <laughs> 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 
Congratulations, Shorty. That was pretty decent. Good job. <laughs> Papoose is in another number. About, y'all. Good job. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Let's check out those scores. <laughs> Time to get right. Oh, the city is going down. Cars on fire in the street. Right for me to have us fill in your line, right? Boom! All right, all right, all right. I feel come sorry. On, you better bring it, <laughs> bring it real. You're coming with me. Uh oh, watch out! Yeah. From the guy that's been in jail for a month. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, baby. Good one. <laughs> Sell y'all oh, there went the train. We called the train and Here's there went the train. Card and sell you for ten Jolly two. Ranchers. Better get some of that money. <laughs> Check it out. It's the first battle. Let's get it all in. You got no style. Got your clothes from a bathroom. Wet and dripping, smelling like a raffle. <laughs> That's your music? I thought it was a thunderclap. Make it clap or get slapped. <laughs> Okay, now let's keep it moving. You gotta get back to that one. Yeah, it up. Listen up, fool. I got no time to crushing. All this fire got the ladies blushing. Your rhymes are old like a second hand tool. I've got my mind on my money and ghost this rhymes. It's kinda cool. I, I got my money, my money, and I hope this right, rhymes. That's time for you to use your devices and vote. <laughs> Let's get those votes in expeditiously. match next battle when I think of you I think of hash oil drop you in the bucket and watch your ass boil <laughs> I'm busy hustling while you're busy dabbing out here blowing glass while your ass is inside napping Yo, time's a waste let's keep it moving now you know it's your turn right If you don't like regret, get out of this Mars. You ain't going far. 
Just come at me if you want to get stuck. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Right all night, Brian. Right. Be like, yo, here's my number. Out. We're going to make it, and we're going to get slayed. <laughs> that was a pretty clear, pretty brutal victory for NFO Glass. You gotta take it easy you on You gotta the get them votes in. Okay, here's your winner. Congrats. Where my MC's at? Come on and get down. Let's get it started. If you were a movie, you'd be saving private trial. Getting blown up like you and even trying. <laughs> Try to keep up. Do you need a tiger jeep? You'll laugh so hard I weep your just an imitation will be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Where the next spot at? What is lost in space? <laughs> right all night. Oats and hoes. <laughs> Are you here to sell me apple? It'll crack you over the head with a snapple. It's your wake up call. Time to get smoking. Provoking the earth till it tells me to get to Tokyo. All right, all right. We heard that. Let's keep it moving. Yo, check it out. <laughs> now it's time to use your devices to vote on who Boats brought it strong. Hit the voting button. Pick somebody. Don't lie. Congratulations. <laughs> Next two robot battlers. Let's get it in. Clearly. Uh oh. Uh oh. Which the next level you got to be heading. But your glass and lights may on Elm Street like a <laughs> You better sit down. Things are gonna get stressed. I'm the king of your corner in this game of chess. <laughs> oh. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Now we gotta move on. Let's go! Or dude just rocking back and forth in the background. Yup. <laughs> Don't wake me up unless you want to get jiggled. Mm. Unless you want some wiggles. Okay. Face okay. The kid. You won't last a ascent. What? Ah, a spider. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Appreciate you. Ding ding, the bell has rang. Vote to see who was the dopest MC. I think Joe might have this one. <laughs> Let's get those votes in. Here's your winner. Courtesy clap. Now let's keep it moving. Yeah, now the battle Game is getting over all rubbing his controllers in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check the scores. <laughs> that looks about right. We <laughs> <laughs> you know the drill is the same thing as round two. Oh, this city is tore up. Oh, here we go. I gotta do something. Shit, I fucked up. <clears throat> Let's take down this uh, online college. <laughs> Puppy Hospital is the next one to go.
<laughs> keeping yourself entertained. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. You got about a minute left. Think in type. still can't think of anything you can choose right for me but you might not like what we give you sometime today would be good Card for the final the round. Woo, I am so excited. You served. ready to go? Let me hear you get at him. <laughs> when I embarrass you, does it make you feel irate? Good to you better sleep. <laughs> Careful not to trip over your own eyeball. Well. Pretty so hard seeing you next fall. what you're doing. Yo, you gotta get that. Did I break you yet? Should we call a bus driver? No, no, call me a mouth diver. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a bum. <laughs> Smokes real quick and do looks like a bum. Well, Joe's stepping up. Alright, I see the swag. Carry like that, Ryan. Okay, y'all, now the battle is over. <laughs> you gotta use your devices to vote. <laughs> <laughs> Bus driver. You gotta get them votes in. <laughs> good job, good job. Like, Congratulations. Call me. Hey man, please don't stop. <laughs> Now it's time for the next couple of MCs. One nine hundred muff diver. <laughs> can't psych me out. I'm unbreakable. Buttocks, sputtocks, 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 sputtocks. Okay. But you just commit tax fraud. Anybody want a peanut? Oh my. Amazing, amazing work. Please don't. Now it's your turn. Let's get Yo, it. Yo, y'all like nuts? <laughs> Last night in bed, your mom told me you were helpless. <laughs> oh, and you should have smelled this. Well, you have a case to let soil. I'm a watch your career boy. <coughs> that was pretty harsh, I got All right, Thanks, thanks. Now we gotta move on. Them up. Time to vote, y'all. Who brought it and who did it? <laughs> God. I think there are about as many people watching game night as they're worth a demo. Right? <laughs> Did you forget the vote? Oh, it's awesome, man. It's really nice to be able to have fun together. I love this it. It's tight, man. Yeah, this is why we're here. Everybody I hope everybody's can't wait like till we can get out of our Congratulations, What's that? yo. <laughs> I said I hope everybody's All like right. a mer Where mad Where my next two MCs at? <laughs> yeah. Get out of my crib, go back to your dirt. <laughs> Leave my shit alone before you get hurt. Uh oh, okay, okay. You call me a failure, but I've seen your pieces. Uh oh, uh oh. Ain't even good enough for my nieces. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool, let's go. Now let's keep it moving. Did you hear what they just said? You gonna let them get away with that? Back to the boat. You're strutting around like you're the glass blower. Acting like you get in wind car, but you don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Dip 
Yeah. I gotta get a screenshot of that for Shayla. <laughs> All right, thanks, thanks. Now we gotta move on. Time to pick somebody to vote for. Let's get those votes in. Damn, I don't even know who won that battle. That was uh, that was a tough one. I gotta do the thing where I just. You know, it was good, but but NFO kind of fell apart there at the end. Vote time. The, right the now. first two lines are really strong. <laughs> So exotic even, but then he lost his flow. <laughs> All right, y'all, here's the winner. Check it out, final battle. Who's the last one standing? Here we go. Here we go. I'm here spitting bars, you're spitting fire. I am. But my bats are made of magma, call me sire. Your rhymes are like a patchwork of rubbish. You'll take your red max and beat it with a club bitch. <laughs> <laughs> People like that one! The <laughs> max can't get a break. Uh, That's you. Uh, Is that you? I got a whiff of us. <laughs> oh my. Okay, I'll see you. I can't stop you anymore. The only place you pick up numbers is a spreadsheet. <laughs> What? We are not scared at all. <laughs> Spreadsheet. Right now is the time to vote. Start clicking that button. <laughs> Let's get those votes in expeditiously. Contest. Now let's see who won. All right, here's our winner. Yeah. Oh, you you hey, baby. Winners to pay for all <laughs> damage you did. I'm a rapper, everyone. Look at that Look, gold headband. Try not to tear up my spot while you're on your way out. Nice Watch your feet, man. Watch your feet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Good game. Uh, Meeks Glass, yo, hit me up. Mike Mason at gmail.com for a sticker pack. Um, and then, let's not forget about the homies in the, uh, the chat. Yeah, so I think some people threw in more numbers. Alright, as long as it's not a duplicate, you know what I mean, if they're new numbers. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> let's pick, uh, let's pick another sticker pack for the homies in the chat. Where is my random dot is org? Let's put up my lady. <coughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Whoa, look at that face. Yeah, all right, do me the spin. Here we go. Yeah! Eight. <laughs> all right, do we have an eight? Damn, there's 12 eights, but is there an actual person who picked eight? This thing I'm not seeing an eight. All right, clickety clack. One seventy nine. Nope. One forty two. Nope. Fifty four. What? Nope. Twenty six. No. Nope. One oh one. I like that. Come on, where it at? Nope. No, one. Still got all the numbers, right? Damn, maybe I don't have all the numbers from earlier. You guys appreciate all the I wonder the if we have lost some of the numbers. Get earlier. I think I did a, a really great job of coloring my hair tonight. Today, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I don't know. I think we may need to actually redo this one. New numbers? I don't know. Yeah, it seems like we've lost it. Shit. All right, I'm sorry. Everybody, go ahead and put in new numbers. I we'll, think that's We're going to play one more game, and then we'll do a giveaway at the end for 
uh, whatever it'll be. Sorry for the tease, but yeah, I don't know. My, my chat room is like I'm losing the, the numbers now and shit, so we might have to review it after the fact. Or we're just going to scrap this one. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Well, I assume everybody is here because they're having a good time, not for the freebies. But I mean, the freebies, yeah. Yeah, know, yeah, of like course. It, but, but no, no, I want to play it right yeah. and all. All right, what game should we play last? Yeah, what game should we play? Kind of like the Fibbage. That new version of Fibbage was hot. That was that, that was, was a good. lot of fun, I must say. Let's go back <laughs> to was, that. That was a good I'm time. I'm feeling that. All right. All right, so jackbox.tv, everybody. <laughs> Enough about you. Yeah, which let's play the new one again. That was yeah, tight. yeah. That was a good time. I liked it. Enough about you. Let me tell you about me. Where did my thing go? S-Z-S-I. For those of you that want to hop in the game, jackbox.tv, room code S-Z-S-I. You need two windows or two devices to view. One is going to be the controller. One is going to be the YouTube video. I will join if there is room at the end after everybody's popped in there. This one has the like fully a cappella mix and shit. I like it. How do you have the sound? Are you running another stream too? <laughs> Carries over there using all the bandwidth. Yeah, well, you know, when the game pops up, it's it's really boring for me if I can't keep up. So sometimes I unmute my YouTube site. <laughs> Smash that like button, homies. Just not enough relative to how many people are watching right now. <laughs> yeah, it's uh. Right. Where's everybody at? One more player? Quite a few winners tonight. This is fun. Yeah. Is anyone else gonna play? What's I don't know. What, what's up with the two bubbles that are down? Yeah, no, I was wondering about that. What are those? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna give it like five seconds and then click in if nobody else does. Yeah, you gotta get in, babe. Come on. Let's do this. did it. Alright. <gasps> I did it. <coughs> Welcome to Enough About You, <coughs> where making fun of your friends isn't just accepted, it's rewarded. Full house, I see. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And anybody watching can join the audience anytime. The audience votes on fake answers to fool those gullible players, and they also get to guess the truth. Let's play! Here's how it works. You're gonna see a question about yourself on your device. Just answer as honestly as possible. Then you'll get your chance to make up lies about the other players. <laughs> you get 500 points for fooling people with your made-up answers, a thousand for finding the truth, and when the question's about you, you get reputation points for players who get the right answer. Ready? Well, I am. Time to answer your question.
wish I could go back and amend my answer. <laughs> hey, I'm serious. First question. Instead of the ice cream truck, this player would prefer the blank <laughs> truck. Write your lies now. the truth <laughs> well <laughs> nah. stripper truck huh mm -hmm. <laughs> let's see what everybody selected Or a taco truck. <laughs> you can see where this audience's head is. <laughs> Everybody's hungry. <laughs> Clean it up. Here's the question. <laughs> One of the weirdest things this player wanted to be when they grew up was blank. All right, type in your lies. Time's running out. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. <laughs> we all can't be Mike Mason when we grow, can we? <laughs> Blow up doll. the best snow cone maker ever, Mom, I swear. <laughs> Let's see how things shook out. Hawaiian-shaped ice. That's my dream. <laughs> it's a good lie, though. Those snoopy snow cone makers were hot back in the day. <laughs> Damn, man, how'd they get me with their lie, cunt? <laughs> That's a good one, man. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Got you. Baby. Oh, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> My work here is done. <laughs> <laughs> well, so much for that one. What? Living the dream. As a weird glass blower. <laughs> and the question is, this player would never get anything done without blank. Type in your lies now. Mm -hmm. 
Hurry, time's almost up. She obviously went to go put her chicken tenders in the oven. <laughs> okay, look for the truth and pick it. Ooh, I like the, the throwback on the cocaine. <laughs> I mean, oxygen is kind of a given. Right. Coffee poops. Crying. Well, I didn't do that in the morning. Yeah. Making lists. Coffee poops. All right, yes. let's see what you guys picked. <laughs> Wait, why do his hands? <laughs> God damn it. This is Mike, Mike's life. <laughs> damn, yeah, wow. Wow. Well, okay, the, then. Yeah, we learn things about each other in this game. Indeed. <laughs> oh, man, cocaine has shot yo yo straight to the top. Let's see what we got. When they were 10 years old, <laughs> this player should. wanted to meet blank. Okay, enter your lies. Finish before time runs out. Okay, here are your choices. <laughs> Wayne Star. Oh my gosh. Chris Farley. Oh, Michael Jackson is popular. <laughs> Macho Man Randy Savage. <laughs> the Tooth Fairy, the Wizard of Oz. Elvis. Okay, y'all. I'm not that old. Yeah, Elvis is dead. <laughs> Elvis's ghost? <laughs> I don't know. It's tooth fairy business. And what did people pick? <laughs> Stay puff, Marshmallow Man. This <laughs> is Bill and Chat. <laughs> Probably wasn't active at that time. Come on now. Probably my age was. But <laughs> really, Mike. <laughs> it was like wizards. You're into that type of stuff. Gotcha. So yeah, I wanted to amend this to Michael Jackson's dra uh, Tiger is actually had more appeal to me at that age. Oh, okay. The whole... From from yeah. the Thriller album, yeah. <laughs> Pussy, get a lot of pussy, as they say. Try this Tiger one. King. The two word <laughs> advice this player oh, wow. would give themselves two years ago is blank. I mean, Michael Jackson probably won a now. 10 year old pussy, too, you know, like, so the whole thing works. Well. Alright, anyways. Two word piece of advice TJ would give to TJ two years ago is. TJ? I don't know what to say. <laughs> New name. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> um. <laughs> this is a cool one. Finish quick before you ruin it for everyone. <laughs> All right, find the truth. Dank heat. Oh, yeah. I like That's it. Good. <laughs> oh, real, real job. job. <laughs> um, buy plastics. Stay hard. <laughs> Stay harder.
Okay, what did everyone pick? Stay hard, son. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> nice Must be Mike. Oh, drips. And it was also. You got me. Dang, both of y'all are showing love. I appreciate it. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> nice. You guys blew it. <laughs> More than two words. <laughs> right? Come on now. <laughs> details. Details. <laughs> All right, here it is. The reality show this player would have the best chance at winning would be blank. All right, type in your lies. Come on, time's running out. Okay, which one's the truth? <laughs> Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> Nobody suggested that. Right. <laughs> Up in the ah, day, baby. That was a big one. Would you believe? Like, yes, yes, that one. <laughs> I'm a survivor. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Coming for you, yo yo. Okay, here's your question. Something that's taking up too much storage space in this player's house is blank. <laughs> Type in your lies now. Hurry, time's almost up. Okay, take a look and find the truth. Okay. Red Max. I go with that. <laughs> <laughs> EHS porn. <laughs> you can vote All for right, let's see what everybody picked. Time. And it was also Great Minds, Great Minds. Hmm, mm -hmm. kind of spooky. Come on now. 
right? Motherfucker. <laughs> nice. Great Good lie one. there. <laughs> <laughs> what? Here's a question for you. <laughs> a work of fiction that this player would like to be a character mm -hmm. in is blank. Okay, enter your lies. What could it be? What show has the most drugs? But the least violence. <coughs> hey, I'm serious about that timer. Finish quick. But the least violent. Okay, which one is the truth? Invaders. <laughs> Galactic anus. <laughs> Batman and uh, Robin uh, with two bees. Harry Potter. <laughs> Walking deadheads. All right, who picked what? <laughs> nice one, baby. Thanks. <laughs> I'm full glass, I'm gonna need to see you in my office. <laughs> Clinched buttocks. Nice, baby. <laughs> What is Star Trek? They have replicators. Oh, right. I was gonna guess that until you started talking about the most drugs and stuff. I'm like, what? But there's virtually no like, real violence if you settle down in a cool place that just has replicators because everybody's doing drugs. This is the final okay. round. Everyone's gonna write one okay, truth yeah, and I one guess... lie about themselves. JL. Whatever comes to mind. <laughs> Dig deep because you get points for any player you See? fool with your lie and for spotting other that's players' right. truths. It's Go! Snake leaf, you know. That's right, that's right. <laughs> I don't like this game. Are you telling people shit about myself? <laughs> okay, let's see. This is hard. Your time's half gone. If you're still working on that truth, you might want to move on to your lie. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Finish quick before you ruin it for everyone. Okay, which statement about this player is true? <laughs> <laughs> Take a guess. There's one person. Don't get me loggers. <laughs> Which is it? Oh, wow. Stole so much hand sanitizer from okay, my neighbors with this thing, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Um, both. Is there such a thing as a shitty kiln? Hell yeah, there are. Elements all hanging down, weird shit like that. Uh, okay, alright. But does it do the job? They seem to go together really well. <laughs> <laughs> Fred Maxon. <laughs> Redemption when I first started Dozen Apprentice, that's what I started on. It's been a short year so far, so. I'd like to change my answer. Come back of the goddamn century. Yeah. <laughs> That's me. Yay. <laughs> Damn, nothing mad likes. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that shit. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's pick another uh, thing there. Let's get out of here. Let's wrap this on up. It's been a blast, but <coughs> alas, we must go. Who who came in second place? Were they uh, yo something? yo or whatever? Yo yo. Yep, they need to get at me, and I'll get them a sticker pizzack. Yo yo. Yeah. Shout out to Mike Mason. And then and uh, we're gonna yeah we're gonna pick a sticker pack winner for you guys in the chat, and then I think we'll wrap this on up because uh, it's been a great night. 
But uh, yeah, boy, I think everybody's hungry. <laughs> everybody's ready for a subway sub. Okay, all right, let's let's diggity do this. Clickety a clack. Ten. What's up? Who picked ten? We're looking for somebody in our newest round of picks here where we had the homies pick new numbers. I don't see any tens. Wait, one out of three? No, no tens. Clickety clack. Ten. Six. Man, they're picking all the ones that are going to take forever to sort. Damn. You can't all pick 69. Come on, guys. Well, but, um, did anybody pick 69? All right, I don't see any sixes. Clickety clack, ten. Didn't we just do ten? I, I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know either. One oh three. I use, I see no tens. Nothing. Nine. Damn. Just pulling all the sixty nines again. Oh shit! There's all the sixty nines now. Alejandro, <laughs> my boy. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um. My dog, get at me with your address, MikeMason at gmail.com, please. And yeah, all the winners do that. And just tell me what you won. Um, I think Carrie's got a log going here, too. At a certain point, it, you know, whatever. Yeah, um, kind of. But yeah, I want to take a moment to thank everybody that joined us. Um, we keep making this thing like a, a special party every Tuesday. And for me, it's been just one of the most positive things in my life, man. It really has. It's, you know, it's why I'm just stoked to do this every single week that we possibly can and keep having this thing, you know, and bring people together, you know, and, and do something positive for the glass community. Thank you so much to everybody that joined us and played games with us and added humor to the, to the chat and, you know, made this thing even better. I'm going to hand this off to Carrie to give you guys a little more uh, lovely goodbye. But seriously, I hope everybody's doing well out there. Um, until next week, and much love, and, and uh, be easy out there, guys. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Uh, once again, it's so great to see that there are still like 141 people watching. Thank you so much for participating in the game night. Thank you, Mike, for pulling up an old an old Mike Mason demo, something that we hadn't seen before. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Hell yeah. All right, we'll everybody. See, we'll see you next week. Much love. Good night, homies. <laughs>